Uh-uh. <laughs> you came? Mm. How are you? I'm fine, no. <laughs> you didn't even call to say you're coming, just showed ah. up. That's how I wanted. What are you writing? I'm taking stock. You know, I have to to at least make a breakdown of um the you things we have here problem. and then the things that we need to restock. I told you the other day. Yeah, like that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ho! So finally, your body is blue light. If you go near, no. Ah! Mm -hmm. You know, the time you were telling me it was not in demand. I told you, you said it's your condoma. <laughs> it's your condoma, and now you have stopped it. Eh, so you because people started asking of it. Eh? Every time I tell you something, I'm telling you from my brain. And yeah. there's profit in it. I know now. Nah. you the cost price and the, and the, if you see the profit money. I can work a major home. It's not like I don't have sex. Hi, you're very good. So, this switch is, you know, I told you that we need more. We need ego. I, I, I told them to bring like 20. Ah, I'm bad on 20 only. It will not be enough. Eh? 20 will not be enough. You know, their building house is around this place now. So, these switches will be in high demand. They'll be looking for it. It's also 20. Buy more. That's true, that's true. Buy more, buy more. I'll call the guys to bring more. Mm. Yeah? What is wrong with you talk about your woman now? You know what you're going to do here? Hmm? You're in here now, so is it not time? <laughs> um, what do you want to buy? We have everything. We even stock the shop today, so we have. There, there is no need for that. Mm -hmm. Are you the new sales girl here? Me. Where is Ekwemi? He stepped out. But just tell me what you want to buy. I will sell to you. Like I said, we stock the shop, so we have everything you can think of. Even these blue lights is now the best seller. People are rushing it. Oh, Guinea, I thought you said you wanted to buy something. Well, when Ekweme returns, tell him that his babe was here. His babe. <laughs> Cheru, are you Ekweme's girlfriend? Oh, yes. I am his girlfriend. Let it sink into your empty brain. Just in case you are thinking of sleeping with him. Hey! I can see you don't have manners. You like insulting people, even people you don't know. You see this thing that you said now? I take it as an insult too. Forget this thing that they said, eh, uh, uh, customer is always said. It's not in this shop. Take, take your time. You can call it whatever you like. Hmm? Because I know sales girls like you. What you sales girls cannot do does not exist. Try. But note, my eyes are on you. Okay. Hey, hmm. Look at her. Gold diggers. You see all you gold diggers in this village? God will punish you. God will punish you, people. See, oh, you can dig everywhere in this village. If you like, go to Maverick Canals uh, compound and dig it. It's your business. You can even go to Maverick Canals farm and dig it. It is your business. But you see this place? Lie, lie. You will never dig anything. Eh? Small shop that this poor boy is trying to manage and bring up. You people have sworn like Abuzo to come and finish him. Don't you read to your shop? But I'm here. Hey, we go. Come and eat. Let me see. Come and dig now. In fact, who don't know chicken, chicken or any sound? Just know that it is concrete. You cannot dig here. I'm home. Hey. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Come to them. Martina. Nine. Nine, welcome. No, thank you. Where is Nkam Delem? Nine, you ask as if you don't know your daughter. You and I know Nkam at least stays at home these days. 
She's always at the Kwame's shop. To do what exactly? She said she always helps him out in his shop. In that case, what stops a poor man from employing her so that she will eminently pay for her service? Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I suggested to her. But you know your daughter, she never takes anything serious. She can't be going there on a daily basis. Only to be serving him without earning anything in return. She should be paying her. Every service deserves a wage. You're right, my husband. She should be paying her something. I hope there's food in this house. No, yeah, there's food. She prepared lunch before leaving. Let me go out there. Hmm. You need to wait for me to get back to the shop before you left. Ah. When I started now, and it was raining too much, customers are not coming. I can't say instead of me to stay in the shop and be looking at the seller, let me come and dust this place because I noticed plenty of dust on it. Hey. Mm -hmm. okay. In a hour, in a hour. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How did your meeting with uh, Madame Christabel go? Oh, that one. Would you believe that that woman invited me over to convince me to sell my piece of land at the express? Eh? Uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh, did you tell her or anybody that you wanted to sell the land? Please ask me again. Uh -uh. Ask me or... Hey, Gianna, I don't understand. What is with her and land in this community? Uh, you know, she has this um, link with um, the Ministry of Lands, and that has gotten her into land racketeering, where she buys the land, sells, and then she resells the same land that she has sold already. And, you know. <laughs> and now, her eyes are on your own land. Um, <laughs> but she's joking now. Mm, but no, no, no. Hey! I told her I'm not saying. Somebody should tell her to remove her talking eyes from that land, do. Eh? Somebody should tell her. Uh -uh. What is that? In fact, <laughs> let us go and warn her. Uh, hey. It comes low down. I don't like to use the word warn. That's a bit too strong. I already told her that I'm not selling and I would never sell. Mm? And I believe that that would do. It, it's, it's okay. Okay, oh. If that is how you want to handle it. Eh? But if the one that you tell her does not do her, as in she now have the God to come back again to ask for that land or that she wants to buy it, Hapromia. <laughs> Let me go and deal with her myself. Let me do it my own way. Let me do my turn. You want, to, you want to do your turn? Yeah, you know me very well. <laughs> me? I'm not scared of anybody. All right, no, no problem. If you get to the point where you have to do your thing, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But that woman is strong. And she has long leg inside government. That is what is swelling her head. Eh? Uh -huh. she sell on the, uh, all the land in this community? If I want, they will wake up and she has sold plus also plus the land, everything. Uh -uh. Uh, but you must also understand that what's going on right now is part of the indices of development. You know, um, our community has become an ad administrative community where everyone who lives here, you know, almost everyone wants to have a portion, you know, to themselves. So, so it's, 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 it's part of development. See. See you. Somebody is trying to stiff your land, and you're still you're speaking English. It's about the indices of the racketeering of the. That's it. In fact, you know what? Let's drop this topic of land. Okay. After all, I don't have land. Let's Before drop. you use your English to scatter my brain. Let's drop it. Now. Let's drop it. Meanwhile, Cassandra was at the shop today. She was at the shop. Mm. What was she looking? Did she buy something? Hmm. For where? She said I should tell you your babe was here. Oh. That's how she said it. My babe. Ah! That girl is annoying. If you see the annoying way she said it, tell him that your babe was here. 
Mm, so I'm telling you the way she said it now. Eh, uh, Kweme, your babe was here. Ash, mm. that girl. You see, this thing you have just said right now. Mm. It has made me hungry. I want to eat. Kweme, just say it. You are hungry. You are always hungry. Oh no, really? Whether I... you are angry or not, you are hungry. That's a very depressing news. No problem. Let me go and make it. <clears throat> Thank you. And please, eh, make one for me and my babe. Again, I was just playing. You know, you were not playing. You're not used to playing. But nobody else. I was just playing. Hey, I was sure? saying that this road coming here, the pothole is very bad. Hey. One keke almost fell into the gutter. Hey, even my keke almost fell into the gutter. I'm telling you. Why? Well, yeah, not. <laughs> <laughs> I can no sit her bottles in her father's house for a second. See, she didn't go to school. Let him employ her. So we know that she is carefully employed. You can be them, my daughter, and the queen. Those two. I don't know what they're up to. I hope he's, he has not been sleeping with my daughter. A young man and a young girl being friends without having something common behind closed doors. I doubt it. Now it's your food. You know it's bad habits to be talking while eating. Do you want the food to choke you? Please allow him came to mingle with people. Are you the one that will marry your daughter? Martin, who doesn't know a Kweme's dealings with the beautiful girls in this community? Nein. You know that a Kweme is a very handsome and hardworking young man. And the choice of every young woman for a husband. And you have made their daughter the one of those useless girls. Throwing themselves at the equipment. Is that what they're trying to tell me? But Nkem Dilim claimed that they are just friends with no strings attached. And you expect her to accept that something is going on between them? Mm. Please leave me again. Eat your food. Mm. I get with Tanya now. You rock my choice hand and name I get what I told him and Mary. Now you will not marry your daughter. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hello? You keep saying you're coming, you're coming. I've been waiting. Where are you guys? Okay, please hurry up. I have somewhere else to go. All right, all right, all right. You guys, so long. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sorry sir. for the delay, sir. The more important thing now is that we are here. Of course, yeah. Please, can I see the document? Yes, yeah, lucky. Give him the chairman. Let's go. I hope this document is intact and genuine. Yes, sir. Everything is intact. Okay. Very sure. Yes, yes, sir. Sir. That it's straightforward business. This document has the seal of code inside. Of course, sir. Sorry, that's right. You that's have not it very sure. about Chairman, this is very legit. In fact, you're covered. You're covered. So, once we finish all the terms and conditions there, I'll make a transfer straight. All right, sir. Okay. All right, Chairman. All right, sir. You're counting on you. It's all right. Thank that's you, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. Have a blessed day. Sir. 
Dame Delem, come back here. Um, Papa? Where are you coming back from? Ha. Papa, answer my greetings first now. That's the first thing you should do. Instead of bombarding me up, right, center, down, everywhere with questions about where I'm coming from, where I'm coming, why are you coming from, where are you coming from? Like, that is the most important thing. It is more important than the greeting that I suffer to greet you now that you do not answer. Answer first. And the last time I checked, Papa, you are just my father. You are not my uncle. You are not my chief. In fact, you are not even my master. So, so, so calm down now. Nah. Chill now. Nah. Are you playing with me? Ah. Eh? Where are you coming from? Chimo. Chee, Papa, it's very obvious that you're very angry. Oh. Papa, you're very angry. You're very, very angry. You're vibrating. It's showing everywhere. That means that the pepper in that soup was too much. Hey, but Papa, it was not my fault now. You were the one that told me that you like pepper too much. That even during the civil war, that you were chopping pepper like granite. Hey, so I now loaded plenty of pepper inside the soup. Why is it not peppering you all over your body everywhere? Hey? Are you sick? Don't you want to answer my question or what? For the last time, where are you coming from? Okay, okay, Papa. I'm coming from a QMS shop. At what? His electrical shop attendant, wife or sister, or what? None of the above. Eh? I went there as your intelligent daughter. Your daughter that has sense. Your daughter that is loaded with wisdom. Eh? Your daughter that even fools cannot understand. That is how I went there. Look at you. Hmm? Don't you be ashamed of yourself. For what? Why should I be ashamed of myself, Papa? Hmm. Do I have shit on my clothes? Uh, why? Why should I be ashamed? Eh? Look at me, oh, Papa. There is no shame in who I am. Oh. You, the problem is that you don't even know the kind of daughter that you have. You don't know the kind of intelligent daughter that you have. Papa, as I'm standing in front of you, you are looking at the direct and the only definition of chassis. Why should I be ashamed? At this age, you are not married. And you don't have any plans to settle down today or tomorrow. And you stand in my front, calling yourself chassis. Or do you want me to start flogging you? To flog in that maturity inside you? Ah, hey. Papa, what is it now? Oh, Chero, Papa. So all the flog that you flogged me when I was growing up is not enough for you. Okay? What is it, Seth? What is it? Must you tell me that I am, I am not uh, yet married? As if I don't know. At least any time I look at my side and I don't see a husband, I know that I'm not married. So, uh, why should you tell me? And what is it? Why should I be ashamed of myself that I've not gotten married? When I was in junior secondary school, the girls that were senior that time, oh, all of them are not yet married now. If Nanya is still not married, if Nanya is still not married, even to add sort of injury, that's her junior sister that have bow leg are married before her. And she's and not ashamed of that. You stupidly want to be like them. Eh? You stupidly want to, want, want, want to be like I them. I don't want to be like them. Just as they, they too, they cannot be me. So if they, they are not ashamed of themselves, why should Noah be ashamed of myself? After all, I'm only candy. Am I older than them? Papa, please, oh, just let me be, Biko. What is all this one, Seth? Every time you have never married, they have never married. They have never married. What are you even doing about it? Is it not your, your maids that are in the chapel? Praying for their, their daughters to, to get married. You, you are sitting down here. Maybe that's even why God is angry with me and have not given me a husband. As long as you are drinking, no husband. I don't understand why people think that everybody is the same. Why? Well, in actual sense, people are different. Everybody has different size, different height, different weight. They have different tastes. They think differently. Uh -uh. It is only in this house that you people think that what works for Okamaka must work for Kamaka. Yeah, that is a good point to stop. You're talking in riddles. What are you even saying? Mama, why is it that Papa, every time Papa sees me, Papa will start insulting me because I'm still single? Or the Mama, why would he even do that? Why is he insulting me? Eh? Where are you coming from? Does it mean that you forgot that you will prepare dinner? That's why I came back early now. Hey! So moody. 
You call this early? You've been at a Kweme's shop all day. And you are returning home 10 minutes to 6 p.m. And you call it early? Mama, he had a lot of customers. Hey, Mama, you need to see. Customers were just trooping in. Fronts everywhere, that's it. I, the thing it was too much for him now, so I had to stay back and help him. He needed my help, so I just stayed and helped him. Mm -hmm. Okay, you try. When your mama met Eliza, you left your own work to go and do another person's work. Okay, have you forgotten that we planned to prepare moi moi for dinner? I waited for you, and when I did not see you, I decided that we should prepare. Beans porridge. Bum. Hey, Mama. You have wisdom. You have sense. In fact, that's a very good decision. Because hey, Moi Moi and porridge beans, they are the same thing. Protein, protein. What that bar now? Eh? Oga. Eh, but, Mama, you should help me and, and, and tell your husband to stop insulting me. You should stop insulting me because I'm not married. Eh? It's not good now. Every time you are married, you are married, you just be talking. Okay, if he wants all of us to be telling each other our fuck up, uh, he's telling me my fuck up, I'm not married, no problem. Me too, I'll tell him his own fuck up. Uh -huh. When his mates were uh, sending their daughters to, to, to school, what was he doing? He was inside that camera bush, pushing rabbit up and down. You are talking about my husband. Uh, Mama, you know what I'm saying is true, man. Uh, where, where are you going now? Come and start preparing the beans, so. I'm going for alcohol. Okay. okay. Come in. One stabilizer. Hello, handsome. <clears throat> Cassandra. Cassandra, what are you doing here? Is that question supposed to be for me? No. It's for my mother that is lying down in her room. What are you doing in my house? And you're getting shift. Move. Why are you here? Baby, you know I love you so much. Why are you hurting me with those words? You're even pushing me away. You love me. Yes. Uh, Cassandra, I'm not baby. Hmm? My name is Ekwe, man. Let it sink. You and I are never going to have any kind of relationship. Do you understand? And please stop coming here. I don't like it. Baby, why are you pushing me away? Why? Are you going to deny the fact that you didn't dig it down with me? Are you going to deny the fact that you forced yourself on me? Ah, And as far as I'm concerned, you should be ashamed talking about it. Ah! Stop thinking about it. Equeme. Yes. You laid with me not once. And not twice. And here you are telling me that I forced myself on you. Oh, yes. And in those situations, you forced yourself on me. Okay? You lured me. You, you led me on. You got me to do it. What do you expect would happen when you walk into a young man's room, uninvited, by the way, in loose apparels, touching him all over? You were touching me in every sensitive area of my body. What well, I'm not a human being. Oh, I should not react. Eh? It should not stand. Because I'm a mon or a saint. What are you talking about? Now, madam, calm down. You came at me. Oh. You came at me. I'm, I was on my own. You came at me. And what you got from me is what you wanted. That I gave to you freely. And you're not going to hold that against me. Or hold me responsible for how you feel. If you're catching feelings now, that's your business. Stop coming here. If you touch me again, I'm going to push you out of this place. You're hurting me with those words. Hi. Why do I have a feeling I'm in trouble? Look here, madam. I'm not hurting you. Okay? I'm actually telling you the truth. 
I'm telling you the honest truth. I cannot have any kind of relationship with you. Really, this is tiring. It's frustrating. Not just you, every other person in this community. What do you people want from me? What is there a gang of plan against me? Am I the only young man in this community? Am I? Leave me alone now. Cassandra, leave me alone. Cassandra, leave me alone. So I don't, I don't, I don't go into exile because of you. Leave me alone. But I love you. You are still loving. <laughs> think that I am a fool not to know that something is eating you up? I said nothing that concerns you. I'm a businesswoman, and in business we do calculations 247, and that's it. Does this have to do with lands? Why did you ask? Because your life is totally and practically revolves around lands. You get it. And you need to understand that you're not just a woman. You're a wife, so you have to slow down on this dangerous business of land racketeering. You want me to slow down and then what foots my bills? Are you going to pay my bills? Igede, you and I know that I am an expensive woman. As long as you cannot pay my bills, you have to let me explore my business acumen. Christopher and Lance. She doesn't know that so many mean and more dangerous men have been consumed by lands. How do I even explain to her about this? Hmm. And they also told me that you came to the shop today. Is that true? Did you really come to my shop today? And do you have any problem with that? Of course I have a problem with it. Do you? Do you think this is a joke? Have I not told you to stop coming to my shop? No, have I not told you to stop coming to my shop? Cassandra, what is your problem? Why is it that you have a problem just taking little instructions? After, it's not like when you come there, you buy anything. Oh. When you bring your 2K legs to my shop, you don't buy anything. That's how you start and you'll be turning. Like somebody possessed by a mammoth spirit. You'll be turning. You'll be turning. You'll be turning. What is your problem? Stop. Look, let me tell you now. Eh? Hear it now that you're here. The next time you come to my shop, if I see you there again, I will push you, push you out. After that, you will claim domestic violence. A man has abused a woman. But they will not see that, that I'm telling you quietly. Stop disturbing me. Stop pestering me. Stop following me around. No. Until I took you. And do you have any problem with that? <laughs> oh, wonderful. Uh, so the way I'm shouting and vein is popping out of my head, you don't think that I have a problem with it. Of course, I, I have a problem with it. You know what? You are so blunt. Honestly, that is why I love you. Hi. <laughs> you quit me, you are finished. Hi. Marine Spirit has finally found you. Madam, please, hear me. I don't love you. In fact, you see, you see how you like me. I don't like you in the same format. Okay, what are you saying to me right now? What I'm trying to say is I'm not looking for a wife. Hi! I'm not looking for a wife yet. When it's time for me to look for a wife, I'm going to find a woman that appeals to me in the format of a wife that I want. That is what I am trying to say. Did, do you understand? You see, I, I am not sincerely asking you to make me your wife. Far from me. Okay, so why are you here? I only want you to reciprocate my love for you. At least a little. Wow. English. Reciprocate. I'm not asking for too much. Oh, you are asking for plenty. Do you know what that word means? It means that I have to, you know, give you back what you're giving. But unfortunately, I cannot give you love. 
because I don't feel love to give back. So there's nothing to be reciprocated here, madam. Okay. I'll be inside. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Inside where? Where, where? where do you think you're going? Inside where? I was to come and spend the night with you here today. Come and spend the night with me. As what? As my wife. I'm very sure you're not wearing pants. You came to pass the night. As what? As my wife, as my fiance. What, what are you passing the night for? As the love of your life. You are mad. You are mad. I I saw your beautiful sales clip today. Ah. I see what this is about. You saw her, so you decided to come here quickly and see if you can have sex and get pregnant before she takes your position. Okay, I get it. She's not my sales girl. The lady you saw first, her name, then came the limb. You know what it means? That which is mine would remain with me and be with me. She's a very special person to me, a special friend, one that I trust with all of my heart and all of my life. She's not my sales girl. Please do not refer to her as a sales girl next time. What? Why will you trust her like that? Hey. Why? You cannot even give me ordinary small love. You are trusting her. It's confirmed I'm in trouble. Hmm. Cassandra. I trust her like that because it's, it is my life. I have the right to decide who I want to trust. And I trust her like that because she is trustworthy. I trust her like that because I like her like that. Go, please, just go. Eh? I don't like what you are doing. It's what after this. The food and the is straight preparing dinner. Nani, please. The food will soon be ready. You know, I don't eat late. Once it's after seven, I will not eat that food again. You know that. Nani, I'm sorry. I know this. And I promise that this will never happen again. Well, I know that you don't see anything wrong in whatever your daughter is doing. Is she not your daughter also? If this will happen next time, I will abandon that food for both of you. I will not eat. I will just leave it for both of you. I am coming. I don't know if that man was using charm on her. Just abandon her father. Abandon everything he's supposed to do in the past. You need to serve a man in a shop. I will look into it. No. What is happening to the food? Mama, you just passed the kitchen now. Mm -hmm. You saw pot and you saw fire. You would have gone to check now. Or oh, are you saying you're not perceiving this, my delicious beans? You see that thing I have been telling you? If you had returned on time, all this will not be happening. Your father is there now, very angry because his food is not ready. But why is your father doing like he did not eat morning and afternoon food? Eh? Mama, I told you the reason I came back late. What else do you want me to do? I already explained everything to you. See, okay, I know that Ekweme is your friend, right? But please, 
Tell him to release you on time so that you can come home and prepare food for your parents. Mama, the crowd there was too much. You're saying this thing because you were not in that shop. You would have seen evil crowd. People were coming. They were too much now. Eh? And I know them. Their eyes are not good. They will, they will steal from him. That's how they have been stealing from him. Uh -huh. I don't have and time if for they this. continue stealing like that from him, Mama, his business will not grow. He will to Oriya shop. Uh -huh. I don't have time for this. Let me just go inside and, 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 and calm your father down because I don't want him to go to bed hungry. Look at the time. If I leave this food and go to bed, you come and start this thing. Calm down. Take it easy. She will soon serve the food. You behave as if you have not eaten. People will think I don't cook for you. And because of that, I suppose not to ask for dinner. I'm hungry. Papa, I wait now. The food is still very hot. Mama, you are sitting down there looking at him. Eh? Won't you join him? The food is for both of you. See, I, I brought two spoons, so it's for both of you. The one in the pot is many small. I will join him. The food is still very hot. The food is still too hot. Is that what you're saying? Papa, that you know that I have cooler inside his mouth. Air condition. He will finish the food, though. Okay, please allow my husband to eat. Ah. Oh. Let me to. Papa, I thought you said you don't eat meat. I was expecting you to tell me to take the food inside and go and share it with Mama. Mm -hmm. See the way you are rushing it. You okay. came. You have clothes for the day already? Yes, so I have. Chai. Chai, chai. What? Are your parents home? Oh, yes, they are inside. They are eating. Oh, ah, okay. Mm. Hey. <sighs> now, what can you draw for a way, bro? I see no reason why this young boy will not come and marry our daughter. No. You have just finished eating. Why don't you just go inside and rest? <laughs> because I've just finished eating. I will not say my observation anymore. I have told you to leave Ekweme and Nkemdilim alone. Our daughter is no longer a baby. Uma, are you trying to say that an elder like me will sit in my own compound what an opposite sex, what freely in my compound to visit my daughter. What if something happens? Will people not blame me for allowing such a thing to happen to my daughter? Like what? Now nah, nothing will happen. Why are you not coming to visit me in my father's house before you, you later married me? I was coming to your father because I had every intention to make you my wife. But in the case of her daughter, she will not hesitate to tell you that nothing is going between her and the a, a, a poor man. No, nothing is going on between the both of them. They are just friends. And please go inside and rest. Make this matter. Mm. Okay. Uh -uh. 
I thought you said you wanted to make them moi moi and boiled egg. Uh, I didn't come back on time, so there was no time for me to go and grind the beans. My mother now suggested we just make porridge beans instead. Ah, okay. So this one that you came back later, I hope that your parents are not angry with you. No, ah, no. <laughs> you just forget about them. You see this food, eh? Mm. You're going to enjoy it. You be chill, chaka. You see this food? I made it with uh, um smoked ice fish. Akaga. <laughs> I trust you. And you know me, I know how to cook. I'm a very good cook. I know what you can do. <laughs> you know, I just hope that when I finally get married, my wife would cook just as wonderfully as you do. Well, God will give you your heart desire. <laughs> you see what I'm complaining? They hardly discuss about themselves. It's only food, food, food. How can they really cook nice food? The way she moves her around in the kitchen. Nanyi, calm down. Your body is too hot. Ah. Your <laughs> daughter is not getting younger anymore. <laughs> Let her be, bring a shooter in this house. Just one. She will when the time is right. When the time is right. Yes, you only said. A rest. When will that time right? Eh? No way can they leave this house. By the way, we are talking of Suto. Eh? Well, everybody is seeing it together, moving here and there. How can a Suto come? No, nah, you don't worry. A Suto will come at the right time. Just come inside and rest. So I'll be going to Anita Market first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. I need to restock. Oh, yeah. are you serious? Yes, no. Hey, do you know what that means? What? It means that your business is going very well. <laughs> I only the last time I made a stock now. That is I, I, very I'm true. so happy for you, my friend. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, please, then. Uh, this is um, the shop key. Okay. Uh, I'll need you to please help me go to the shop and open up very early. I don't want the shop to be closed. You know, usually we have this morning rush. You know, especially people who want to come and buy wholesale to take to neighboring towns. And I don't want to miss that big sale. It's okay now. I can do it. Thank you. There's no problem. Thank no you. Problem. I'll go there in the morning. You know that I am very elated because with you, I am confident that my business will continue to go. <laughs> well, man. You are my friend. And... <laughs> You seem to have forgotten what you did for me years back. I would have been long dead and forgotten. <laughs> you don't know what you don't know what you did for me, honestly. See, eh? even when I get married, I will tell my husband what you meant to me. Ha! It would have been a black Thursday. My parents and my only brother would have lost their only daughter. And sister. Nine, is it clearer to you now that Nkem the Lim is trying to pay Ekweme for the kindness he showed towards her? So I suggest you leave those two alone. Martina, are you aware of the kindness Ekweme showed her daughter that makes her to suffer like this? Nine. Why should this even be a topic of discussion when it is clear that there is something between those two that is beyond what we are thinking? I'm her father. I need to know what the Ekwe may do for her that I don't know. And why are you asking me as if I know what it is? Nine, let us go and rest. You say let us go and rest. You have a good relationship with your daughter. She must have told you. So tell me exactly what happened. And ever since then, you have been a great friend to me. <laughs> ah. You're my very good friend. See, I don't care what people think of our friendship. That one is their business. They can think whatever they like. 
Eh? Only me know how I meet you. And honestly, you are more than a friend to me. It's your and even God knows that I cannot ask for anything more than you. <laughs> My bosom friend. You mean everything to me, Vicky. So when people talk, I ask them to continue to talk. For really, they never understand how special you are to me. They will never understand. Do you know that a lot of people do not believe that a man and a woman can be friends without doing anything? Without torture, or they don't believe it. Yes, and you know why? Because they have only lived to a <laughs> You are <a> bitch. <laughs> I bought something for you. <laughs> Provision. Yes. Why? I'm not accepted for you. Come on. You can do it. Why don't you accept my gifts? We've talked about this severally. I will not. See, what you did for me years back is enough for me, please. But I want you to accept this because this one is from the heart. No. Why do you always reject gifts from that young man? I'm not doing anything I'm doing for a poor man so that he can reward me in any way. I, I know that we're not very rich. But we're not beggars. We are better than a lot of families here. And we're not hungry. Uh -uh. So, look at you talking. Yeah? What has the status of this family? Got to do with little person your mother, your mother just asked you. Eh? Why do you always reject his gift? Simple question. I don't want him to start thinking that he's spending a lot on me. It doesn't tell good of a good woman. I'm a good woman. Come on, stop talking like a fool. Agreed. You did not ask for anything. He gives you from his heart, of his free will. Uh -uh. Uh -huh. And I have a right to reject it of my own free will, too. See, Mama, I don't even see myself collecting anything from him. Period. Martina, is he adult okay? Mm. You can't blame. Are you sick? You are not normal, though. You are not normal. <clears throat> Papa, I am fine. As in fine. As in F to the I to the N to the E. You rejected this mm. set of provisions. And you are standing before me, telling me that you are fine. Haven't you paid him enough for whatever you think he did for you? Eh? Uh, uh, Papa, please. I don't want to go there. I don't want to discuss that. Biko, just take it the way I told you right now. I am fine. Okay. You see that you don't want to talk about. I must hear it now. I must hear it. Now! Nine, nine, please, please, please. Nine, please. Don't what kind of there. daughter is this? Don't go there. We just had dinner. Let's not overheat the night, Biko. Let's um, just go. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. Look at us.
My name is Madam Christabel Igede, the only strong woman of Akama. The one who at the mention of her name, men tremble. You see, that business which I cannot execute in Akama and beyond does not exist on the surface of the earth. Mr. Tony, what type of land do you want exactly? I have numerous lands scattered all over Akama. Just say your choice according to your funds. Where is Ekweme? He went out. Did he say where he was going? Do you want to buy anything? I can attend to you. You, you can what? Young lady, do you expect that I, Christabel, patronize this rat in a whole shop? Well, for the records, I patronize big sales outlets where the risk of buying all of these fake things are limited <laughs> madam going to buy anything inside big big shop is not a big deal it is not a big deal because small small children this same shop that i see small small children walking in and buy even all these small small boys that pick money that's where they shop so don't make it as if it's uh, you achieved anything the most important thing is that inside this shop we don't say any fake thing here. At all, at all. I see you've got guts. Madam, please, I don't have time to waste. Do you want to buy anything or you don't want to buy it? I don't have time for little tramps like you. Are you a picture go? Tell, have a nice day. Tell Ekweme I was here and he must make out time to see me. At all. It is very obvious she doesn't have money. No money, long mouth. You came here with a short bag that cannot even contain 1,000 naira. And you are talking. I don't know what's wrong with you people in this. Christopher, has it gotten to the point where you now enter my house and come on, I cannot get from a woman I call my wife? Igede, you're watching soccer, so I decided to let you concentrate. Is that a bad thing? So you, you, does it mean you're now losing it more and more? That you now refer to me, your husband, as Igede? Is your name not Igede? Why are you all of a sudden picking offense with the fact that I'm calling you by your baptismal name? Is that not your name? First of all, you are your wife and I'm your husband. You're supposed to know how to talk to your husband. Mm, okay. I don't know that one. They did not teach me. Will you teach me? Excuse me. For the fact that you renovated this house, it's not a passport for you to be behaving as if you're the head of this family. Yes. So who then is the head, if not me? I feed you, I feed two children in the dormitory, and all you do is sit down, watch soccer, read newspaper, and lazy about the Excuse house. Me. Who the hell told you to take them to the dormitory? You took them to the dormitory because you know you can't take care of them here. That's the reason. So you have space to do all this nonsense that you're doing. All this nonsense, like you have classified it, is what I use to feed your sorry lazy ass and take care of this big house. You get it? I was doing exceedingly well in my business until I got married to you. Everything capsided. Now you want to change the history. Let me ask you. Since we're in the classroom, what is history, you get it? You cannot define history. There have never been any history. You've never been an ambitious man. That is why you failed woefully in your life's pursuit. And oh, you were so pissed and tensed because I have become a very, very, very successful woman. But let me tell you something. I am just getting started. Mr. Head of the Home. 
porte. Look at the woman I married with my money. She's not challenging my authority and rubbing shoulders with me. I will show this woman the other color of me. And that color is my real color. I will do that without remorse. I will do that without remorse. when I hear you refer to yourself as a head in this house. I marvel at the gross display of your ignorance and idiocy. I will pretend I didn't hear anything. You heard me loud and clear. Yes. You have an intelligent level far below the average, yet you keep referring to yourself as an educated person without knowing that you are just an educated illiterate. That's who you are. Ikede, do not push me to the wall. You will not like the outcome. Come on, come out of it. Do you, what, what, what do you even think they call me Ikede? Who the hell made you believe that I am one of those men women can pocket? I came back home to rest. And you're going to have to let me do that in. Peace. Do not push me any further. What will you do? I am asking you, what are you going to do? It is undisputable that I am the Lord over you because I married you. You did not marry yourself. More so, I, I sponsored you through the university with my hard earned money. So, whatever you think you have achieved is on my foundation. Now, let me tell you. Do not push me to the wall as I lay a curse on you. You will first of all overcome the curse that poverty has laid on your stricken self before you find someone else to curse. You know, the truth is, I shouldn't be seated here and arguing with an illiterate like you. Christopher, you call me an illiterate? Someone who has invested so much in your education? Christopher, for the records, I married you an illiterate with just a first school living certificate. What is that now? Listen to me. If you think that you can drag me down to your level, then you better have everything. Christopher, I am your husband. Cause it demands that you must be submissive to me. Ikede, do you know me? Do you know this woman seated right before me? Do you know the height I have attained in the society? Do you really know who Christabel is? Listen to me, Ikede. I will never submit to you. Christopher, you are who you are because I made it possible. I made whoever you think you are so get that into your skull and retrace your steps before you wander into an arena of death. Of course. And who is the arena of death? You really think you can kill? Christabel? <laughs> Listen, not you, not anyone else can kill Christabel. Oh, Christabel. 
Christ. The woman I call my wife. I can't even remember the last time she obliged me in her body. That girl. She's got guts. But I'll show her why they call me Madame Christabel. The only woman who has all the connections at the Ministry of Lions. <laughs> agree with me that I have been here um, seated for a while. If you don't mind, I'd like to know why you have invited me to your husband's compound. Point of correction. This is not my husband's house. It is my house. Okay. But that's not one of contention. Equeme, has anyone, I mean any woman, ever told you how, how handsome you look? You are every woman's dream man. I mean the kind of man that any woman in her right thinking sense would like to have in her corner. As her man. Has anyone told you that? Oh, um. Quite honestly, I. I don't do very well with women, so. Um, I'm not sure I get that quite often. Maybe a couple of people would harbor such thoughts, but. Uh, None has come forward to, to say that, but you're saying it and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You are welcome. You're still not saying anything, madam. <laughs> time, time, time is money. You know that I run a business and I would like to, you know. So if, you know, we can... Um, Cut out the flattery and just get to the reason I'm here. That's okay. I'll go straight to the point. So you have a land located by the express. Mm -hmm. I want it. Yeah. I want your land that is just by the express and I'm willing to pay you any amount that you have chosen to sell it for. Ah, uh, madam, I never mentioned to you or anyone in Akama or even beyond that my land is up for sale. Hmm. Of course. I mean, it's on very rare occasions that lands are being mapped out for sale. It is my job to convince land and property owners like you to sell your lands and properties. It's a way of welcoming development, and of course, you know the government approves of that. So I should take it to mean that you've been targeting to sell my land? Oh no, far from it. I haven't been targeting to sell your land. I want to buy your land, and I am very ready. I'll pay you a hundred million there. You know, when you money bags begin to flaunt your millions, it insults the sensibility of decent men like me, Madame Christabel Igede. What you have just done is improper. This is not a smart move from your end. I don't know what you mean by insulting 
your sensibility. I'm only interested in your land and I'm willing to pay whatever amount you have put it on. So name your price. I don't have a price. Because that land is not for sale and that decision is not negotiable. Please, if you'll allow me, I'd like to get back to my business. Equipment, think about the fact that selling that land to me automatically makes you a multi millionaire. Millionaire in hundreds of millions. I can pay more if you want, just name it. What's your price? I'll not think about it. Have a good day. The very fine, smart, and intelligent Akwame. This morning can never be good because you have refused to do me one simple thing. Don't you think it's too early in the day to do this? Everyone knows that I'm not into land business or land racketeering. And I'm not going to start now. So I ask you, why do you think it is necessary? for us to have this conversation. Equeme, do this for me and you will not regret it. Do I take it that you have a problem with simple explanations? I don't sell lands. Have you ever heard that I sold a piece of land to anyone in this community? No. Why would I start now? Ekwema, you are already beginning to talk to me in a very demeaning manner. <laughs> and you do know that that's not good for a man of your class. Ah, Madam Christopher, come on, please stop now. Don't employ reverse psychology or emotional blackmail here. For you know you're already getting on my nerves, as I told you. So yes, you are. I don't sell lands. And the land you seek is not the only one in that express. Why are you bent? on that particular land. That land is unavailable. I am not selling. You see, if there is something that I'm sure I do know about you, it's the fact that you are a very good manager. Yes. And I do know that you love business too. I mean, your electrical business. You can upgrade it. Equipment, if you sell this land, you can expand your business. I mean, you will build a very big brand for your business. You know that I did not schedule this meeting for today. But I have given you enough time and attention. Why? Because I have a lot of respect for women. But it's also glaring, my dear, that you have nothing more to say to me and I'd really like to start my day. Have a nice day. 200 million Naira. Two hundred million? Yes. That's a lot of money. It is. Enough to make a weak man fall. Madame Christabelli, get her, have seen great men fall to their knees because of greed. I'm not the kind of man, money, will bend. That land is not available for sale. Not today. Not tomorrow. to sell that land to me. I have interest in that land because it's located just 
by the expressway. I mean, I know the things I can do with that property. I've used virtually all my superpowers. What else am I to do? Christabel, what else are you going to do? What else are you going to do? Something. Three million that you left this place with. Is this what it bought? Uh, this is it. This is three million. Uh -huh. Hey! Chimo! The country is finished. I said when I come back, I'm going to tell you to begin to adjust the prices of everything. There has to be a price adjustment. Because this is not what. Well, you know with me when I took the last time I went to the market, did I not did I not what I took to the market was 1.5 million naira for 1.7 million uh -huh. to the market, and I bought more than this. Uh -huh. Now this is three million naira. I, I managed to buy things. I asked them why. They said exchange rate has gone up. Chimo. Yes, that dollar now is about seven hundred and something, looking almost it almost one thousand naira. I said, okay, what about pounds? They say don't touch pounds. Pounds is one thousand seven fifty. Uh -uh. Nobody's talking about pounds. I said, okay, it's all right. <laughs> you know, all we do in this country, we just talk. That's all we do. We talk. We talk on social media, just make noise. And then the bad leaders already know that all we can do is just talk. And we don't do nothing about it. No, nothing. Nothing. If you talk now, they say you are inciting agitation. What agitation? When we are saying that the country is not working and we are asking the people we put in offices to, to be accountable. Nobody is answering questions. So what are we talking about? So let us leave it now. I, I made it clear. If we are not obedient in this next election, you see this election, Nigerians are not obedient and forget crime, forget religion, forget sentiments, and be and forget corruption. Because some of the big wigs that are supposed to be obedient are not obedient. Why? Because they know that if obedient gets into office, where they make their trillions and billions from, will be cut off. So they are not supporting the movement that can change this country for their generation unborn. You know, you know, you know, you know, when we talk about these things, it looks like we're laughing. But we're not laughing. Because a lot of people now feel, it does not concern me now. What is my own business? After all, I'm having my children and my family abroad. What if when you're old and grey and your children decide to come back to their father's land for whatever reason, what are they going to come back to? They're going to come back to the country that their father destroyed. Mm. Uh -huh. In fact, you don't need to tell you. I have in fact, increase the price already. This is this is bad. Do you even want to talk about transportation? Have you asked me how I got to this place? How I carry things and got to this place? No, you just go to the market, you come back and run out for go for you are just angry. How much did I spend on transportation to get here? Transportation now, I paid I paid two times the price. I asked why they say transport fare has gone up. That per liter of petrol is almost 400 naira. That is what we're talking about. Per liter of petrol is a dysfunctional society that they are also sorting area boys. They are area boys who collect their money. So at the end of the day, you, you add all that to your cost price. Where is the country going? I thought it's the driver that pays Admiral. In Kemdele, driver pays Admiral quite, quite all right. But I'm telling you that from where you're buying your store, Admiral first harass you. Oh, what is it? Hey, 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 oh, oh, that? That the land where you're standing upon is their own. You have to give them. So at the end of the day, you factor all of this into your cost price. Now, the person coming to buy the things we have in this shop, how much is their salary? So as the price of things go up in the market, I pity people who collect salaries. How do they cope? Some of them are family men and women. How do they cope? And you tell me that the problem of this country is just the leaders. No, I disagree. We are the problem of the country because it is amongst us that they select the leaders. Eh? You live in a country where people have very dark hearts. You live in a country where you're talking to your fellow countrymen and what is coming out of their mouth and their chest is so dark that you now begin to see your wicked leaders as angels. You live in a country where ASU has been on strike for almost one year and the leaders are doing election campaign. They don't even care. The same student, they want to come and vote for them. I don't understand. You live in a country where the Minister for Education, his children are studying abroad. So his children are also not... So I don't understand what system we run. How can we have a government that allows the Minister of Education 
for his children to be studying abroad. Then what? Who is he ministering? Me and you, I beg. Look, we don't talk. Out. Let them sell this country and share the money. Let us rest. You're supposed to give me 200. Which one is 100 naira? Your money is supposed to be 500. Okay. Let me give you 100 naira. Oh, Ghana, 300 that they used to come here. Give me 200 naira, I come out here. Your money is supposed to be 500. Let me give you 100 naira. Oh, God, give me my change now. You give me my change. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, give me my change. Come out. Give me my change. Come out. See how that's the work. My go work. They delay me. Give me my change. I'll go there give you. Money is 200. I said to you, my money is 200. Give me my money. I will come out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, give me. Give me. You, I don't mark your face. Come on here. Eh? Nke Uga, jokes apart. I'm beginning to look at you with the corner of my eye. Why? What do you have with all these girls that are always coming here? Nothing, oh. But nothing now. I'll just be on my own. All of them, they'll be clustering around me. Not, you know, hovering around. Jumping around me. Left, right and center. Eh? I, I'm telling you the truth. But you know, the funny thing is that I, I know what they all want. Uh, I know what they all want. What do they want? Eh? To cripple me now. They want to liquidate this shop. It is this shop. You see all these shiny, shiny lights? Eh? Mm. <laughs> it's deceiving them. So they come here, they feel that it's funny. <laughs> Chiro. So you're trying to tell me now that this uh, Ruby that just left here, mm -hmm. Cassandra that came the other day, mm -hmm. Jovita, mm -hmm. Mandela, yeah. Kunu, all of them that have been coming here, they want to liquidate you and milk you dry. They want milk. Ezioku. Yes. Ascal Bell. I am telling you. Ascal Bell. Can I even shock you? Mm. You see this one I just left here right now? Mm. She was in my house asking me to just have her. They all want to offer themselves on a platter. They want me to sleep with them for free. <laughs> she removed her clothes. Uh -huh. And she was naked. In the parlor. Hey! You see, you were a very dangerous boy, you... What did I do? Oh, so you were here and you kept your face straight. Meanwhile, you have seen her nakedness. And you deny knowing her. But I don't know her now. What do you mean by you don't know her? Because I don't know her. Uh, uh, but you saw her nakedness. No, but you have to... See. No, almost. She almost removed her clothes. I don't know her. For you to know somebody, you have to know them well. What did the Bible tell us? That David knew Bathsheba. David, no. finish it. Nah. Bathsheba. Nah, leave that Bible. A queen man did not know or knew Ruby. Eh, but all for nobody here, you would have knew her. I, I refuse. I heard myself from <laughs> knowing her. Sidia <laughs> Wu. Oh, buddy. Hi. You are dangerous. So, so you saw her this thing. But so I, while she was asking you, does it ring a bell? But I almost, I almost knew her. I'm not the only man in the community. I'm not even the most successful man in the market. Now tell me what I do. Why these girls they rush me like say I be box office ticket. Alarm. Good afternoon, Mama. Good afternoon, who are you? Mama, my name is Ruby. Ruby? Yes, Mama. Ruby. Who are you looking for? Mama, I'm here to see Ekweme. Ekweme? Or the Panama? Yes, Mama. Uh, he's inside. When you get in, you will see him. Huh? Okay, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Allow me to rest your Oh, but your man, I'm on your man. It's for each on Tuesday. Yeah, my informer, man, I'm my guy. But Thursday and Friday. Oh, but your man, I'm on your Don't boo me. <sighs> Why are you here? I don't remember inviting you to my house. Why are you here? He mustn't invite me for me to know that you need a beautiful babe on Sunday like this. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, please. I, I don't want a beautiful babe. Um, what are you trying to do? 
No, what are you trying to do? What is this? Don't I look like someone you could go for? No, you don't. What exactly do you want? <sighs> I'm talking to you, are you still removing your clothes? Are you trying to get nude here? Yeah, I, 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 you want to get naked? <laughs> I've not even removed my clothes. Uh, but you, but you're sure. about to. I want to remove my clothes so you could test the woman in me. I, 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 I don't want to test you. Why? I, I don't want to test you. I'm, I'm fine with the taste in my mouth already. What is your problem? Why are you here? Eh? What kind of temptation is this? Why are you here? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what is wrong with this, my boy. I'm a man this boy. Eh? Beautiful girls who know I'm not and I'm not Fraud licking around him. No, 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 not yet. Not yet. I don't know if it's when he starts working with walking stick or on Wednesday, they don't know Gabo. What do you come on? I'm not going to get menopause. I'm not going to get menopause. I'm not going to menopause. Man, I'm so bad. When none of them want to associate with him again, that is when he will want to get married. Yeah? Can you just imagine? I don't know what is wrong with this boy, you. I don't know what is wrong with this boy. Eh? All his younger sisters are all married and doing well in their husband's house. Onodonakwale. Give me a grandchild, Oju. I'm watching you. I'm watching. Now, Nonsense. I love you. Why are you acting like a snake? <laughs> love. Okay, Ruby, I'm sorry. But I don't love you. Okay? I I'm sorry. I know sometimes these things happen. But I don't love you. Please, just go. Please, please. Hey, me. What is it? What is wrong with you? You had sex with Cassandra. What is there having sex with me? She told me everything. How good you are. And I wanted to have my own shit. And you're acting up. Okay. I see what is going on here. What? Oh, you came to have your own share. <laughs> so you girls want to gang sex me? Eh? No, you want to gang sex me. So Cassandra has come to collect. Ruby, it is your turn. Then after you, another person would come. No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm asking, what is the issue with you people in this? Am I the only man in this community? What about... I thank you very much. Eh? What are you trying to do? To push you out of this house. That's what I'm trying to do. Get out. I want to. Why do you want me to push you and spoil your makeup now? Just go. Take. Let me not spoil your makeup. Just go. Queen. Why is he doing like snake? <laughs> like, get out! Ah! Look at them! Ah! Don't come back here! Ah! Okay, I get it now. <laughs> it is time for gang sexing. Eh? So because I have sex with Okeke, I have to therefore have sex with Okafo. Huh? I said it. There is nothing happening in this life that is not in the Bible. Isaiah 4 verse 1. It has manifested. It has happened. Isaiah 4 verse 1. Is that reality? They want to gang sex me because I had sex with Cassandra. My colleague, I will soon show up here to come and collect. They want to bruise me. No, what is this? Forgive me. I heard your voice. Mama, it's Ekwemi. He pushed me out of the house because I wanted us to be friends. I didn't do him anything. I'm going. Bia, Nebia. Nebia. Bia, oh, Nebia. Yeah. Where is this girl beautiful? One man, one man, one man. Well, everything one you cholo. Eh, my front of my zoom iru. Hey, 
Guys, like Sweden, I mean, we don't forget to say that land. We wait for Swiss Park Hotel to sell. So we can get that one also. Correct, correct. So it will go well. Agent Lucas said he has interest in the land. Yes. <sighs> See, guy, I'm not raising me. 10% too much for this guy. 5% is okay. See, yo, 10% is okay. What do you think? I did with you now. 10% is okay. Now. Actually, 10% is okay. 10% is fine. Eh? See, there's no point being greedy here. Eh? See, Muna Rizzi will mean now. Let's assume we sell land at 10 million naira. So automatically, 1 million will be the local. Mm -hmm. So 9 million no will reach your share. Muna Rizzi now will mean our guy. I don't know what We are together, we are together. Please, just understand where I am coming from first. You need a woman. In fact, you need a wife. Apart from the fact that you are old enough to marry, you also need a wife to help you take care of the shop. But why are you talking like this now? You're helping me out at the shop and things are going perfectly well. Is that not so? Thank you very much for the compliment. Mm -hmm. But you still need to marry. Because very soon, I'll be going to Lagos. For real? Mm -hmm. I want to go and learn a skill. In fact, fashion and designing. You know how I like it. So that is why I'm telling you to, you know, get married. If not for anything, do it for Mama. You know how Mama wants you to get married. At least let her be happy. Huh? Come to them. You are going to leave me alone in this town and, and travel to Lagos. I'm going to learn a skill. Fashion and design. You know how much I love it now. I am going to miss you so much. I'm going to learn. That one will not be a problem. We'll be talking all the time on the phone. But it's not enough. I, I need you here. But you've had me for two years. <laughs> I've been there for you for two years. Now I want to go and, you know, start up a future for myself. Ikweme, what are you doing? Ah, no, no, no. Please don't tell me you want to cry because I'm going to Lagos. How can you want to leave me like this? Huh? How will I be able to live without you? See, guy, to me, agreement is agreement. Too. Papa, don't do it, but let us do our shiki now. I don't know whether or not they fear this guy. Don't be saying this guy really get with you want to us now. You know you know who we be. See, guy, I don't know where you are getting at to. To me, I hear that man is diabolic. Now I'm making you the hard hand to the bypass with me, they sell hands with you. Guy, forget that thing. If that guy did diabolic, the other business will do a boss up with that day. Why he call on? No be using it to do that bag. Guys, 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 see. Look how smart. That man they very smart. We know if I'll do that kind of person. That man too smart too. Ha. See, Baba. I don't talk my own. No, you, have, no you, have, you have his account. Do where to transfer him his money. Yeah, don't come off now. See, yeah. I didn't see what I didn't I don't know. I didn't see that. Yeah. I saw it. I saw it. I'm actually on my way home. I'm, um, I know, that's why I'm actually rushing. Eh, uh, mm. but the things we bought for you, you're not taking them, the provision. <laughs> mama, 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 let him stop. I've told him to stop. See, mama, my friendship with him is not about what I can get from him or what he can give me. Uh, you know, later, when my heart starts accepting it, I will collect. 
But for now, let me quickly rush up before my mother starts. Can I have your parents? You go. What's the last one? Hello, sir. Uh, I'm good, sir. I'm good. Look, I'm right at the place now, by the first station where you asked me to park. Okay. All right, I'm waiting, sir. Thank you. Nah. This place is too big now. No, they see. I don't think you go to Now, machine is supposed to do this thing now. You got the machine? No. But you need the money, I go. I really need that money, or I want you to have something. I go that side. Where? Go that side. Wait, you finish this thing before you finish, you finish time. Or... No. Because time, no, time, no, time, no, time, no, time. 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 No, time, no, time, no, No, I don't name it. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Well, are they clear, huh? No, now, nah, but I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll go there. I'll be 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 there. Of land Chris bought since yeah, and he just left it. <laughs> anyway, this is our country. You must have to eat well first before you start thinking of investing in people. Chris Dogu. Is it not to just call him and congratulate? <laughs> Agona, Okute Jidamba. Kewe. Chris Dodogu. Itego. Nah, I feel like that's it for you. One namukina wine is him. What is going on? This is where they where you where you they see the table. <laughs> What's going on? Chris, I want to congratulate you now. I saw laborers clearing your lands and it's as if you want to start building something. What the why is you? Okute. Wait, wait. You say you saw Guinea. You saw people on which I, I didn't hear you were. People are working on your land. Are you are telling me that who sends? Them. Wait, you mean you're not the one that sent them? Yeah. 
send them mad or send them more. Oh, could I didn't send anybody? I mean, who did you say you saw? Now, nah, see, see, um, Chris, you have to start coming back. Nah, 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 nah. You have to leave one inch immediately and start coming back to Akama because I think something is happening in that land. See, you have to come immediately since you're not the one that sent them. Because someone, I think someone wants to start erecting something on your on your land. Yeah, I'm there, Hannah Chiso me when they leave. Moa, one day I'm coming right away immediately. I want to am sending in a land. They send them mad or send them more. Keep in a many. Look at no more. Um, when them, in fact, on my appointment in nature, I can't go me on Zubo. Yeah, I'm coming right away. In fact, I'm flying if not possible. I'm, I'm coming right away. Hey! What are we here to? See, I, I know, I said it. These are community people. They will sell land to this person, and they will see, I know it's that same people. Ha! Huh. Now they are dead. You think they smoke? Go stop there. Y'all don't got. Hey, what's here happening? That Christopher will sell land. For that side, we no, don't share the land now. The man don't storm a camera like this with policemen, army, soldiers in the finals. Be sure for waiting to talk to me. As if so, some men don't even go there. Don't arrest them for our guys. Come on. Come on. See, guys. Wait. Guys, you are not know, clear like this. Drink down like my feet here. Don't drink. Don't have to see me. I don't know. What are you doing here with everything that is going on? What? How did you get here in Kemo? Ha! What? What is ha? <laughs> you need to see what is happening out there. What is here forever? You need to go out there and see what is happening. Hey! If you see eh, army, police, they are everywhere, and they are shooting here and there everywhere. Yeah, eh? Hey! How did you get here? More. Ask for daughter. Okay, how can bullets be flying all over the place and you still manage to come here? Come on now. Eh? Please. I'm telling you. Hey! If you see the kind of army and police that are everywhere in this Akama, now nah, where where they are shooting gun everywhere. Hey, but what is going on? What, what, what is it? <laughs> My mouth cannot even tell you what I saw out there. Tell me now, at least you are the one coming from town. They say that one man that they call Christian that lives in a only chat. Bought a piece of land here in Akama. Uh. The next thing, those stupid community boys went and sold that same land to another person after selling it to him two years ago. Oh, these boys will never change. Eh? Yeah, what is their problem? Amamu. Yeah. What exactly do they do with this money when they get it? If you still see them, they look very dry. Amamu. They now said that the man now got wind of what they did. Hey! Owe Polami. He went and brought a battalion of army, police, and Jawaya to on Akama. They landed here and then they went straight to that land. Hmm. All the level was there. They were anger. If you see Koboko, Koboko was flying up and down. As in there, all those levels. I'm telling you. This commotion out there. Big commotion. Hi. Hey! I'm from Hey! I'm here, but I'm sweating. I can see you're sweating. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you, you're risking your life. Me? You think it's funny? I'm too much now. You need to see. Hey, this is what I said,
your mom um she's fine she has gone to the market oh, okay and what about your dad <laughs> he's in the farm he's checking his straps so you're the only one here yes <laughs> okay um are you from akama oh yes i'm from akama mm. Mm. some of the girls that i saw yesterday came with their gossip are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gossip is not. <laughs> I know. Uh, they said you have a shop just by the Anglican gates. Yes, I have a shop. Mm. Yes, that I set up immediately after graduation. You know, instead of wasting my time and my years searching for a job in this country that might never come. Mm. You did well, Lou. Ah, that's a very good one. Thank you. So, can I come and visit you in your shop? You want to? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that will be one of the happiest days of my life. <laughs> to have the most beautiful woman that I have seen in Akama come spend time with me. You came to live. You're one of the finest human beings I have seen. You know why? <laughs> because your beauty is natural. There is nothing artificial about you. No makeup. Nothing. You're a true African queen. You are Apukomo. You're shy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very uh, much. But it came. Um, see, I have to go. Today is um, today is another day. Like I said I came to see how you're faring. I, I I know that you'll be fine, but you know it's only proper that time. I really come see for myself how you're doing. And I know that um, in a few days, you forget that this even happened. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you see, today, uh, you will sell. You will sell and sell and sell and sell oh, until you're tired. You in fact, anybody that wakes up this morning in Akama, the only thing that will be on their mind is to come and buy something from your shop. You say, Thank you <laughs> for the prayers. Thank you so much. Let me go now. I saw my spirit leave my body. I was walking down the road. I'll slow down, I'll slow down. I'll slow down. That, 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 that sounds scary, you know that. I know. All of a sudden, I don't know what happened. 
but I saw my spirit going back until it entered my weak body. It was God who sent you to go swimming on that day. I don't know what would have happened. I don't like to be reminded of things that make me emotional. Kimberly. Only God knows why he brought us together. On that day. Under such circumstance. Let us leave it as it is. money or gifts from you because I am assisting you in your business. Why would I do that? When it comes from the heart, it should be accepted. And when the heart rejects it, it should be respected. <laughs> but in your own case, you can never reject my food because that rejection will never come from your heart. <laughs> Why do you know so much about my heart? Do you have the keys to my heart? Mr. Man, this piece of land here, it's mine. And um, in all confidence, I'm telling you to retreat from whatsoever proposed structure you intend to put on this land. You lie. Allah Abunkem. You lie. Oh, I see. This piece of land was sold to me just last month. So what are you talking about? Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, let me bust your little brain. Since it is small, not big enough to understand that Feili Gugi, you have been scammed. Did same group of mischievous urchins that sold this land to you, sold the same land to me two years ago. As we speak, I already have them in police custody. You know why I left you? Because I understood wholly that you are ignorant of what is going on. You bought this land out of ignorance and that is why I spared you. See, Oga, I was an eyewitness See, in fact, this man is my kinsman. And I was there that very day he made payment for this same land. Okay, Noria. What are you guys talking about? Um, what? This is, come out your former. This is my land. I have documents. See, of all, all intact. So what are you talking about? Mr. Man, what we are talking about is that you have been scammed. Yes, no. Feligogi. Asimgi wadanya geemonti feligogi. How could a grown, matured man like you, you saw a land and you did not think it wise enough to go and investigate and find out? Listen, my friend, I am talking. When you want to buy a land, you need to make inquiry and understand the integrity of that land. If not, then you can allow yourself. Now, listen to me, game with your fuma. You see this land? This land belongs to me. Leave this land. Yes, I will shoot you guys now. I am still telling this I man. I am now. Look at this. This is a proper document from the Ministry of Land showing the right ownership of this piece of land you are I'm here. not interested in any of these documents. Mm. Let's go. I'm not interested. Get out of this place now. I'm mm. not interested. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> For the last time, I will not say anything after saying this. If you think you are bold enough to go ahead with your decision, I will not be held responsible for anything that will happen to you. I will not only come for you, but to me, ya ba chi iheni ne sugi nazo. Mwa. Gae monte. Gae baro. Ima oyembu. My man. Is that a threat? Na mo. Odogo Chris. Ezi bo oyem. Odogo Chris. Odogo. Kuzele woka and lesson. Na esu mgi nazo. Esu mgi nazo. Oga. Let me tell you the truth. Eh? You have been scammed. 
See, if I were you, I will liaise with this man. Thank God he had he caught. In fact, he has arrested the criminals. See, liaise with him. You might be lucky. They will pay you your money back. Or even give you half of the money. Did you not even ask anybody? Nicole, I hope you were able to make that Mokocha understand the kind of ocean he's swimming into before he gets drowned. See, uh, Chris Odogu, in fact, he is just lying, in fact, he's standing there like a vegetable. <laughs> I had to make the wall sink inside his head. I'm an idiot, man. I am thinking we should report this thing to the community head. Report again. Onye bu the head, onye bu the tail. Listen, I'm not reporting anything. If that work all charges me, after all of the instruction and warning I have given him, even right in your own presence, or by ever getting anything, if you put anything on that ground, one name suya, and he will not bring out that money that he thinks he has. He will walk out and go, his leg will stop paining him. But those boys are very wicked. See, you see those boys that sold that land to that man? Hi! Those boys are very, very wicked. <laughs> See, I just wish they will, the police will torture them. Torture, torture them so that they will vomit them on. That means I forgot to even tell you. The IPO handling the matter already hinted. We concluded arrangement to sue them. See, all of them, Baba <laughs> Yenga. You've not seen anything. <laughs> you won't come out of it alive. My um, guy, there's one madam... Krista Bell Ijede. She is also into land racketeering in this community. Krista Bell Ijede. <clears throat> that name rings a bell. You're not supposed to know her. Krista Bell Ijede. Um, I know her. And I think that woman is too big to be into this kind of demeaning business. I mean, how come? I, I, I didn't say anything, but she's just that. She's just somehow. Anyway, that's a different case entirely. But if you go for this work culture, <laughs> by the time I'm through with you, it will be used as an example. Odogu, if you come to Malaysia, Chris Odogu, Odogu, you could go to Malaysia. No time that you come to this house that she will be at home. Oh, no. You see that she has gone for one business or the other. Oh, no. No, no. My mother is not going to retire anytime soon. Don't worry yourself. Somebody that I told, Mommy, what are you going to do at the Uncle Market? I paid the bills around here. I put her monthly allowance so that she can have some money to herself. Everything around here, I take care of. Even when she has to go for this uh, August meeting, and everything, I, take, I take care of her. What are you going there to do? You say, no, my son, you know, I have to go out. We have our market women union. I say, okay, if it makes you happy. But really, I don't understand why she's going there. I would wish for, for her to stop. Huh? She's getting older. Don't try to how unless you want her to die on time. If you uh, slow her down, she'll fall sick. This thing I hear is, is true. It's true. That is how they act. I, I talked to a friend about it. Mm. He told me, no, no, no. Don't try it. Let mama go out. The same thing happened to you. You know, they're very active people like that, you know. <laughs> and but they like to go out and do one or two things. The good thing is that she's not wasting her time. She's making money from it. Money In that fact, she's keeping to herself. See that thing! <laughs> See that woman, eh? She has business sense. In fact, I'm very sure that's where you got your own business brain from. Uh, you think I have a good head? Your head is on fire. <laughs> that's why. All the girls in this Akama village want you. Hey. That's why they think you're very handsome. But hey. me, I'm not thinking it like that. How are you thinking of it? <laughs> How do you think of it? How do you see it? No, tell me now. <laughs> eh? I'm not thinking it like that. Because really, if you ask me, sometimes this topic makes me uncomfortable because I don't understand what is in beauty and handsomeness. You know, because as far as I'm concerned, handsomeness and, and beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Hey! 
Yeah. Because oftentimes, very brilliant people do not judge you based on your physical appearance, but by the content of your character. Hey, You just want to confuse me with your big grammar. I'm not where? confusing you. You want okay. to confuse me? Content of character means, <laughs> you know, your behavior. Obviously. In your head now, I'm very sure you think I'm trying to flattering, flattering. You are trying to speak English like me. Stop. You are, you are going to hurt yourself. <laughs> You, you hurt yourself. You have this location. <laughs> the word is flatter. Say flatter. <laughs> flatter, flatter you. Don't rush it. Flatter, flatter. You. Say flatter. You think I'm flattering you. You are flattering me. You think I'm flattering you. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, you, came, you are never serious. Oh, you must tell me because I want. I know you want to use style and dodge this question. I'm not dodging anything. Bring this guy not first. Ah, you holding it since. <laughs> you okay. <laughs> Why is this girl not at this level? I was munching it now. I thought you were not interested. Sure, you were looking at me and I was eating it. You were pretending like you did not like. Girl, not that I, 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 I bought from from, from the woman who supplies me granola and banana. I know you very well. You want to use this granola topic now to touch this person? I ask you. Eku kwanamo, anara me, leave me alone. I, what's your problem? You are not touching this again. All the guests in this village want you. I don't know. But I think that I think they want money. Yeah? Yes, now that my small shop there's even that. They think there's money. You know they are all local champions. So they don't know that there's bigger money to be made in town. So they see me, you know, with my little, you know. <laughs> so they think there's money. They want to run me my business down. I don't agree. Quim. Those girls that I'm seeing. What do you think they want? They don't want money, they want you. Me, how? Well, because you're a good man and they will do anything to have you. I know that. You know them. Mm. You talk like you know something. Ah, there's something I know. There's ah, something you know. Yes. Um, the other day, I was in some place like that, and one girl was telling the other girl that her friend said that you are very sweet. Hmm? But you are very sweet, and that she will do anything to get you. That I'm sweet? Mm. Did the girl tell you my taste? <laughs> I like to know my flavor. <laughs> I will ask her next time. I, I will ask her next I'm very time. sweet. Mm, are you very sweet. You are finishing the Remove your hand. Uh -uh. This is the reason I didn't want to give you this granite. My own granite. You, you didn't want to give me my own granite. Oh, I'm not giving. Hey. Calm down. Hey. Mm. Don't allow me to get up. Mm. Don't allow me to get up. I don't have to make a granite. has to tell me the reason he has bluntly turned down my invitation. The audacity for me. Telling me over the phone of how busy he is. What is he busy doing? What is he doing? Huh. Equipment must think that Christabel is such a joke. But I will tell him that I am not. He must think I'm joking. He must really think that Krista Beligede is a joker. And no, he has to look me right in my eye and tell me why he would turn down my invitation. I don't understand. Why would that girl be spreading rumors about me? If I lay my hands on that girl, you can't believe me. If I lay my hands on that girl, if I if I lay my hands on that, it, it, it will not be nice. So it's not going to be nice because I don't understand why she take my name around. She's soiling my name in this community. What nonsense now? I don't understand you again. Why are you shouting now? Why would I shout? You're shouting because one nonsense girl somewhere just opened her mouth and said rubbish, and you are shouting. She's not what it. But that is character assassination. She's spoiling my name in this community. Am I the only young man? What is going on? How can she be spreading rumors that, 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 that unfounded rumors? What you call well, um, it's damaging to my reputation. Equipment, good afternoon. What is good about this afternoon? I'm asking you because I have told you to stop coming here. I don't know why you're coming. 
What do you want? Well, I want us to talk in private. Oga, this is private. Hmm? If you have anything important you want to say, please say this is this is private. This is not the market square. This is this is very private. Please go ahead and talk. What about her? Ochako Maka, what about her? Hmm? What about her? What is it about her that will stop you from saying what you have to say if you have anything meaningful to say? What is it about her? Look, it's not a very good day for me. If you have something important to say, just go ahead and say it and get out. See her two yellow tiny legs. What are you doing here? Okay. So what do you me. What is it? I am pregnant for you. Whether you like it or not, you must take responsibility for your action. You see this pregnancy? It is yours. And you must marry me. Uh, <coughs> marry you? Marry you? Really? Me? <laughs> uh, you know what, madam? Please. Eh? Just, 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 just. <laughs> you know, this life is funny. <laughs> You know, sometimes when you when you give some people the benefit of the doubt and and you just you know allow them, they prove to you beyond every reasonable doubt that they are airheads, bereft of common sense. Me marry you over my dead body. Please get out of this place. If you like, you can speak all the English in the whole world. I don't care. But you see this pregnancy? <laughs> I am not going to abort it. Will you get out? Leave this place, I do it. Get out. Get out! Equipment, you want to deal with I me? I will deal with you. After Please. sleeping with me and getting me pregnant, you said you would deal with me. I will deal with you. Get out, my friend. Look at her. Can you, oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. You, so you think you can just come in here and tell me you're pregnant and I'll just swallow it hook, line, and sit. Thank God, 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 All right. I will go. See her tiny legs. Eh? I just want to even ask if the, the sex was sweet, though. Very emergency rush rush sex, very raw. Ha! Hey! No. He must marry me. He cannot get me pregnant and then deny it. No. When he was sleeping with me without protection, does he not know that it might lead to pregnancy? He wants to use me and dump me. No way. No way. I know exactly what to do. We had an appointment yesterday. Why didn't you show up at my place? Dear troublemaker of Akama, I do not remember having an appointment with you, but in case my memory has failed me, would you be nice enough, madam, to tell me exactly where and when this appointment was fixed? Ekweme, son of day, I have come to intimate you that I shall be taking over that piece of land since you have decided to place double. I'm going to tell you, Christopher Ligeda, that I am a tsunami, not a man that you can trample upon. Be mindful of the one you want to get into an unending battle with, for I am going to crush you 
I'm not going to bend you. I will break you. Peace. Bye, peace. <laughs> Is this not you? I mean, isn't this all of you? Or is there another you that I'm not aware of? Right here in front of you. I stand, and even more. Madam, you are nothing but a piece of work. You are evil, personified. I know you. I know your kind. You and your cohorts do nothing but perpetrate evil, and the people of our community have had to live with the wickedness that you bring. But I tell you today, I'm like a trumpet and everyone who's tried to blow me without the requisite experience had their jaws broken. And that is going to happen to you. Hmm. You have a lot of guts, I must say. My name is Christopher. I break you. I will make you bleed. Hey! Bleed! As in neighbor, as in blood will come out. Madam, that is threat, oh, and we will not take it lightly with you for that threat. Will you shut up your trap? Who gave you the audacity to speak when I'm speaking? And who gave you the audacity to shut her up? Let this be the last time that happens, for you are not qualified to talk to her like that. You of all people, we are working tirelessly, very hard in this community to rid this community of wicked people like you and we are going to stop at nothing to achieve that. Madam, let this be the last time you show your face here when I'm eager to talk about this piece of land. Else I am going to crush you. Mark my words. Bring it on. Let's play this game. Don't play games. I do not play games. Ask questions. My name is Ukweme. Ask my mother why they call me Ukweme. If you do not stop coming at me because of that land, mark my words, it will swallow you. <laughs> you see, there is something that you do not know about Madame Christabel. And that thing is that I have dealt with men who are men. So the sex toy of every loose tie of a calm will only be blown away by the wind. What for you, eh? Hey, what I would have done to this woman? Uh -uh. See, I don't like this thing. No. This woman is very evil. I know her very well. And for her to be choking her eye like that inside that land there, while I only gear, she has sold it. Ah, uh, then whoever has collected <laughs> money and given to that woman, she'll go and get a refund. For if if I and if I catch someone on that piece of land. <laughs> but don't you think we should just go and build small something inside that land and put somebody inside it? Eh? It's better now in my something like security house. I will not do it. Huh? I will not now. She's just bluffing. I'm not doing it. She just came here to try to see if she can shake me up. If, I, if I'm going to you and sell my land, it won't happen. But you want me to spend money that I did not plan for because of that barking dog? It's not possible. Hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. Mm. If not for you, eh, I would have given that woman one knock on her head as she's going. No sense. It's like you woke up from the left side of your bed this morning. But what did you pray? Because I don't understand how all these things can be happening to you today, 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 only you. Eh? Cassandra has come first with her pregnancy wahala. Now, Madame Christabel has come to threaten you. Okay, then, what is going on here? Why are people like this safe? What is going on? Why are they like this? Are you slept, Cassandra? She just go and look for who she slept with and got her pregnant. Huh? Yes. Hey, Korea, are you sure the pregnancy is not your own? What are you talking about? Are you trying to say I'm responsible? Of course I'm not. Ah, hey, I hope you're not trying to use time to deny that pregnancy you and then deny your poor mother of the chance of being a grandmother. You know your mother wants a grandchild. So don't deny her that. Okay, why are you trying to get me upset? Eh? What's the 
What's your problem? This is your conversation now. To what end? You are trying to tell me now to go ahead and marry Cassandra that I got her pregnant. Oh, I don't understand. In Achego, you admitted that you slept with her. And when you are sleeping with a woman, you should know that pregnancy can occur. So this one now that you want to deny now can be yours. You can? Mm? Do me a favor. Uh, Shut up. Yes, sir. Shut up. Like, keep quiet. <laughs> I said... Can you I don't want to say that one again. Now, you know we have two problems. You said you don't say the first one. No problem. The second one, Uncle. Uh, Madam Christopher came here and, uh, and threatened you. What, what are you going to do about it? Madam Christopher is a small fry. All right? I have told her... Yes, she's a small fry. I've told her to go ahead and try. Let her try me. I'll show her that I'm not one of those men that she, she puts in her cage. Let her try me. She wants to take my land in this lifetime. But that Mr. Igede is a weakling. A complete weakling. Uh -uh. How can he still be keeping that kind of a woman in his house as his wife? Uh, 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 Kim, slow down, slow down. See, this life is very deep. Slow down. Don't judge everything you see eh, on the surface level. You see that man? You see that man? That man might not be in his right senses. I'm telling you, he might not have full consciousness of what is going on around him. Of course, you know how big he used to be now. <laughs> eh? One of the biggest importers in this community. And suddenly now, oh, he's almost yeah. like an efulefu loafing around. That is a testament to the fact that that Christabel is not just a witch, but a very diabolic woman. Chai. Okay, so don't run into conclusions. Just slow down. As far as I'm concerned, Christabel is diabolic. But in me, she has met her match. Mm -hmm. Amen. He may want. Hmm? What did you say? What did you say now? Okay. Oh. Okay, what did you say? Okay. No, what did you say? <laughs> what did you say now? What did should I say? You should stop talking. What did you say? I think I've seen you once or twice with my son. Uh, yes, Mama. I I thought this is the best time to catch you at home. So I decided to come see you for something very important. I hope all is well. I... Okay. I'm listening. Mama. I am pregnant for Ikweme. Yes, again. I'm pregnant for Ikweme, your son. I, I discovered I was pregnant due to my cravings. Uh, for the fact that I have not seen my monthly flow since two months now. So I decided to go to the hospital and do a pregnancy test. And here is the result. You mean my son, Ekweme, is responsible for your pregnancy? Yes, Mama. Hey! I can but. Hey! I got near, I got near. Hey! I want more, okay? On again, more, okay? Hey! Natural. Hey! <laughs> hey! If I'm not sure, okay, no can for no can. Hey! Ne. No, no, oh. Mom, no. I shall look good. Eh? Oh, good boy, boom. Hey! Hey! You seem happy! <laughs> this is about M. Um, I hope you have eaten. What do you want to eat? If I name anything, what do you want to eat? Name me to now. I am good. I'm a phone book. 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 I'm a phone book
Chalo, I know what you want. Uh, Chalo, can I tell? Uh, I know what you want. Hey, okay. Hey. Thank you, Mama. <sighs> I've been thinking about this thing throughout the whole night. I did not sleep. In fact, let me tell you, if you ask me, you are to be blamed. Why are you blaming me? You know that Cassandra came for a mission. She's on a mission. And you still went and fell for her. Bannon. Look, I'll not go into all the very gory details of what happened. What I can tell you is that that situation was a disaster. Okay? But I maintain that I'm not responsible for that pregnancy. Simple. You keep repeating that you're not responsible. How are you so sure that you're not responsible? After all, you Jenny say. Because I know that she's lying. Look at her eyes when she's talking. Her eyes are blinking. It's a telltale sign that she's lying. It's simple. All the same, you shouldn't have fallen for her. Do you understand that that girl came to me when I was born? I'm not a monk. Who. I need you to understand that as well. It's so cool. She did her calculations right. Oh, yes. Mm. She came the first time you fell. Came the second time, Eda. Even the fourth one. Are you a follower? Are you a follower? Are you a follower? Please, where are you going with this? Listen. Cassandra has already told Judy that you got her pregnant. I'm very sure before, in fact, as in next, before tomorrow, the whole village will hear that you got Cassandra pregnant. Oh, hey, Mary Philip. No, I'm not bothered. You know, it's, it's hard I should have a problem with, you know, telling the whole world how a young man has left to die in this community. It's not my business. Whatever she wants to say, let her say. All I know is that every time I have to say, oh, okay, I want to settle that, I want to pick a wife. Yeah, yes, you just stand up. Everybody wants to be with me. Is that what you think? Mm -hmm. That's what I know. Eh. Oh, when you want to marry, there are many girls for you to choose from, okay? Mm -hmm. The one you spoiled, who will marry her? No, the one that brought herself to be spoiled, you mean? Chai! Who go for a guy, whack? Mm -hmm. hmm. No problem. Are you sure? Yes, so. Yeah. Are you sure? No problem. Okay. Just that I am happy. You're happy? Very happy. Yeah. Very, very happy. What happened today? Ha -ha. What happened? As we fell, Melonandum, <laughs> if I got and start my prayers, eh? Omo, oh, Dala, I yeah. come now with the name. Oh, hey. Please share the good news so I can rejoice. Uh -huh. with you. Hey! Oh! Cassandra was here today. She told me that he had Hunumel behind closed doors. No, but I Hey! Oh, Nam, Dim Akebo. Dim Akebo, on Hey! Mama, eh? so that retard eh. came here today and you gave her a listening ear. Offer man, offer man, she said that she is pregnant for you. So I'm very happy. Why won't I give her listening ears? Make you answer, offer man. And now, ha! Eh? Okay, Nisi. Hi. Mama, do you know that I'm very disappointed? Why? That she said she is carrying your child. And they happy. Is that why you are disappointed? And you actually believed? Why would I? Why would you believe, Baba? Don't you know your son? What? You don't know me anymore? You actually believed that that retarded girl is carrying your grandchild? Yeah. I got her pregnant. Me. Like, does she look like my type? Mama, no, Mama, no. This thing that you're saying. <laughs> nah, no. Nah. She says she's pregnant and I believe her. You know. Nah, Diana, why would I believe her? And then what involved? Eh? No. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go I have dropped. A bombshell. A kueme must be mine. <laughs> he must marry me. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank God his mother has accepted me and the pregnancy. Hmm. I think what I should do now is to take my luggages off to his house. <laughs> oh, Ikwene, hmm. you are mine and mine alone. <laughs> yeah, Ikwene, my grandchild cannot be brought out of this house. No, 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 Do you hear me? If you like, run inside. Now, boss, whatever I want to do, do. In fact, I am so happy that that girl, Cassandra, was sense and got pregnant for you. Ah, ah, what is all this? You are running away from your responsibility, up here. See, that child is your responsibility. Cassandra is your responsibility. What am I even saying? Can I let me call your uncle. Ah ah! Again, it's better for you, so you to be happy. Never walk, never dip, but walk. She has shown the world that you are a man. You know, we were one of so. No problem. Let me call your uncle. Come on, come on. Hey, this boy, eh? Can you, can you just imagine? You need to calm down. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. Allow this man to do the need for now. What difference does it make? Oh, jeez. I will eventually go to his house when he does the needful. So, what's the difference? Respect is the difference, Cassie. Self-respect. For crying out loud, it's bad enough that you got pregnant for this man that is not even yet your husband. And now you want to pack your things and go live with him? Are you even thinking at all? Mm, my dear. Delay is very dangerous. Oh, jeez. There is this saying, if Mohammed refuses to go to the mountain, let the mountain go to Mohammed. So, I'm leaving. Cassie, it's so obvious that you've made up your mind. And I can't do anything about it. No problem, Mana Preacher. I'm leaving. You can leave. Yeah, but it's my husband's house. Oh, take care. What? Oh, jeez. This girl is insane. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So, what is all this? 
Mama, I brought my things to my husband's house. Yeah. <laughs> Um, moreover, I don't want to take chances. Some person is already claiming that Ekwe belongs to her. Hey. So I have to secure my bag. You know what, Mokulu? So you couldn't wait for Ekwe to come and pay your bride price first? Eh? <sighs> Mama, you know delay can be very, very dangerous. So I... <laughs> no problem, Mokulu. No more No problem, I'm not against it, but if Ekwe comes back, and he is comfortable with it. This is a Eh? <laughs> Mama, you should be happy I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Man, I have going to over times that this piece of land rightfully belongs to me and no one else has the right to build anything on this land. What? How dare you show your face on this land again? How dare you? Abino. Abino! Listen now, what now? You dare not put up any structure on this piece of land, if not a A land I paid through my nose to acquire? This time, if you don't apply caution, you will pay through your annuals. Can't you see you are a fool to have allowed yourself to be ripped off by those scammers on another man's now, land? Now, listen to me. Listen eh? to me. Listen to me. If you know what is good for you, vacate this land. I will not warn you again. You want me to show you, I will you, handle right? you my own way. I'm warning you now. Abino, Abino, don't dare me with those your dead devil stunt. One, if not, more personally, me I will show you. I'm telling you again. Leave this land. I will not warn you again. Mm. If I get you here, one let me a call to your two legs. Where you are to your last one, I'm mini. Look at this, Abino. I'm working a challenge, no, but that. Okay. Are you now going to rest them guys, bro? Good evening, my darling husband. What are you doing in my room? I have come to my husband's house. And who is your husband? My love, we are expecting a baby. And all you should do is pamper me now. Ah. You know you must be insane and stupid at the same time to think you can wake up one morning and come here and accuse me of getting a loose cannon like you pregnant. Cassandra, are you sure that you don't need psychiatric evaluation. Are you sure that you, you are not out of your mind? Are, are you just sure that, are you sure that you're okay? The result of what we did behind closed doors is now out. I am pregnant and you are the father of my child. What we did? Ah. Stay here. What is it? If you like, I'm not going anywhere. If you want to kill me, kill me! I'm not going anywhere. Ah, I don't even know what is wrong with him. Mama, how can you allow that lunatic into my room? She came with her box and said she's pregnant. I did not say she should enter. And you believed her? Why? Why wouldn't I believe her? She said she's pregnant. I'm a mortgage to Balayim. Mama, the girl is not pregnant. She's not pregnant. How? I don't understand. I have solid information that she's trying very hard to get me to marry her. And that she's going to fake pregnancy just to convince you to, to get me to marry her. Hey, I still don't understand, bro. You remember the other one that came here the other time? Ruby. Uh, uh, That's her friend. They're all in on it. Cello? You mean she's not pregnant? She's not pregnant. And she came to deceive an old woman like me in my own house. 
Why would you say it's not a laughing matter? But I told you that this girl is retarded. She's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. Now see it now. She's not here. She's not pregnant. She's not pre Her friend told me that she tried to get pregnant, but it, but it failed. It did not work. That's what happened. Hey, you women. I'm a woman. It is nature that has taken its course. We will find somebody better. Yeah. She's not pregnant. Even Hi. the sex we had self was, was rushed. So I knew she was not going to get pregnant. My name is Chan. your baby girl. Uh -uh. You this traitor. Backstabber. Who is your baby girl? You must be very mad. You are sick. You are stupid for calling me your baby girl. Cassandra, what is wrong with you? Because I don't understand. Why are you acting up? Look at this one. As if you don't know what you did. You went ahead to open this your stupid mouth. This your gutter mouth before you went to tell him that I am not pregnant for him. You, you this thing. So, God will punish you. So you went to told my boyfriend that you're pregnant. Eh? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Your boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Turn that will fire this your mouth that you're using to call your boyfriend. So you're calling my own Ekoeme your boyfriend. Akuna ten ten kobo. Look at her. Look at her. Ashewo. See? The thunder that will fire you is just doing press up on camera. Why did you run? Since you claimed that you're pregnant, why did you run? Madam, you first stayed there born the picking Is it now? your headache? Is it your pregnancy? Why are you taking Panando or someone else's headache? Why? Hey, yeah, I'm sorry, yo. You first stayed there, that's my own. You first stayed there. Look at her, Akuna. It is God that will punish you. Don't touch me, God will punish you. you. I will punch you. Stupid thing. Look at her. You first stayed there born the picking, so the picking go grow now. She's even wearing heel. You are stupid. Sir. This one is heels. Mugu. Mugu. You are calling this one heels. It's because you are not classic enough. You are calling this one heels. God will punish you. May God punish you. You'll never be well with you. Your refusal to get married is what is causing all these problems between you and Akam Megels. Hmm? Eh? Uh, what? What are you talking about, Mama? How can you tell me that me not being married yet is the reason these girls are frolicking around me? And come? Mom, I'm not the only single man in this community now. You, can't you see that what you're saying? It does not add up. You've said it all. Get married and they'll stop coming to you. Ha! I'm not found out. When I find out, I'll get married. What about some Kemi? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eh. <laughs> Nkem is a good girl. Nkem mm. is the only girl you have allowed to come near you and your business. So, get married to her. Mom, are you telling me all these things because you just want me to just, you know, marry? You know? Just marry. You know how you people are? Just marry. Marry. Marry you. Marry and give you grandchildren. Is that the reason? Nkem is a decent girl. She's a very good girl. 
She is the only decent girl I have seen in this village. Mm. She is also your best friend. I know the saying, marry your friend. If you marry Inkem, that girl is going to better your life and give you peace of mind. Eh? So what stops you from marrying her? You could come call her non You could say I'm called I'm non. Catch you for Mari. Mari. You have to marry. <laughs> if you don't marry, then will you marry? Or that's unmarried. It is because you're not married. How come you will not marry? Don't you want to marry? But you have to marry. Oh, marry you. Marry. Gentlemen, this is the land. Five acres all in one. Wow. As you can see, it's a, it's a very big land. Yes. Mana Christopher, please. Because of what we heard that happened in this community months ago, about two men who bought the same plot of land at interval, please, I want to ask a sincere question. Uh, go ahead. Hope this land has not been bought by someone before. Mr. Tony, you asked a very vital question, and I will answer you Do not expressly. Do not. Just that we don't want to go into an argument with anybody over this land. Come on. This land and its document is as genuine as Christabel is. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Madam, please, can I take a look at the document? Right away. Uh, madam, we have seen the document, uh, but before any payments, we would like you to provide a guarantor. And also, we would love to see the community head to ensure that we are not dabbling into a fraudless dealings. Uh, there is nothing fraudulent about this dealing. No, not at all. You see, this is not the first time I'm selling landed properties. You both know I'm a registered land vendor. And I have all the connections at the Ministry of Lands. I do all my land document accordingly. There's no need for that. But, but if you insist, I'll, I'll provide you with everything you need. Oh. But if you ask me, I'll say it's not necessary. <laughs> it, it will be necessary. <laughs> Yes, another one, another one. You don't have an original. Put that to me. Please, what do you want to buy? 
Um, please, uh, we are actually looking for the office of the head of town union. Someone directed us to this show. Why would anyone uh, direct you here? Uh, well, I'm the owner of this store, but I'm not involved in in the politics that goes on in Akama. Neither am I <laughs> the head of their progressive union. So, but really, what um, is there a problem? Actually, we are not from this community, but a woman named Madame Krista Begede brought us to show us an acre of land at the express road which she wants to sell. And we want to get to go ahead from the head of the town union before we proceed with the payment. Yes, we actually know that this uh, plan will cost us more, but we are ready to pay. Yes. Anything is going to cost. It's actually better for us to pay more and get the right land than pay lower and end up in trouble. Madam Christabel Ligere came to me a couple of months ago, demanding that I sell that land to her. The land in question is my father's land, and it's my direct inheritance. And I refused, you know. I can't believe you get this. She bragged in front of me that she would sell that land and nothing will happen. I cannot believe that she carried out her threats and that you two are here for the same piece of land. Are you sure of what you're telling us now? Um, young man, my name is Ekwe Meudeng. I'm the owner of the land in question. This is my place in case you need to come back here. But for further verification, I am going to introduce you to a man who is the head of Akama Progressive Union. His name is Mr. <clears throat> Obi Okoye. Huh? If you people don't want any problem, Eh? Stay away from that woman. That is what she does in this village. She collects people's land and then resell them and it will not stop her from selling it again to another person. And then when trouble comes, you will not see her. It is you people, they will come and arrest. It is her stock in trade. This is serious. I knew it. That was the reason we were directly Please to just you. call that number. Oh, thank yeah. you very much. Eh? Thanks so much. Thank you. It. One thing you don't know about me is that I don't ever give up. Ruby is only fooling herself by thinking she can use her gossip to make me lose my mind. I'm watching her every step of the way. And I am going to run her out of this town. I don't know. It's nobody's business how I'm going to do it. But I will sure run her out of this town. And you can as well tell her that I say so. Do you know it was God? Who directed us to the person who told us about your queer man? <laughs> man, this is insane. I wonder what these people would gain from selling and reselling people's land. You know, one question I keep asking is, why would Madame Christabel want to sell off someone's land without his permission or agreement? I don't get this. Bro, if you ask me, I think we have to go to another community to buy the land to build the hotel. No, that will not be a good idea. See, this is the happening city. Things are happening here now. 
and it's the best place for me to invest. Come on, man. It's the best place. So, because it's the happiness city, you're expecting us to risk all this money to buy a land that might lead us into trouble. No, now. Think of something better than that. The right thing to do is to go back and meet a poor man. Let him direct us to a real land agent or even convince him to sell off his own. Think about it. That is a very nice idea. Ah. Uh, but it will not be this week. Going back to meet him will make him feel we're desperate on our part. And okay. that is what I don't want to happen. So, if not that the gods of my ancestors directed the footsteps of these boys into this place to ask questions, Christabel would have sold my land. Why is she so particular about that land? Has it not boiled down to the same thing that I have been telling you since? Allow me to, 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 to deal with this Christabel in my own way. Let's Madness and madness jam so that the lesser one will run. Kala jam wala. You refuse. You said I should not get involved. Now see. Chebi her madness have now directed that towards selling your land. We forget. Have you seen it? Uh, but you need to understand that Christabel is a married a woman married in Akama. So because uh, she's married to Akama, we should allow her to be doing nonsense in Akama. Okay? That woman is evil. And she's the one teaching all these our young boys the evil that they are doing. Grabbing and selling and reselling people's land. Eh? We need to teach that woman a lesson. Uh, I understand that what she's done is not right, but I, okay, I don't want to involve in this Christabel's case. Please. Why? Why are you always saying that? Do you know that Christabel is behind uh, uh, those community boys that went to sell Christopher's land? Only oh, me, Christabel. Nothing happened to her, but our boys slept in, in, in police cell. Let her be doing her madness or see her very soon. One day she go collect water, water. Uh, 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 uh. That's not... No street language, please. You know, I don't like it when you talk like that. Huh? She tried to sell her. She failed. And that's it. She will continue to fail. Nah, eh. But I'm still for fun. Do you know that I have never heard in any village that a woman is a land grabber and sank? Only in Akama. Eh? Nemanya. I think you should go and meet um, Kedafi. Ichi Amakolom. No, go and meet him. Because I don't even know why you have Ichi Amakolom and you'll be allowing Kusabai to be giving you sleepless nights. I'm not having sleepless nights. Eh? Uh, uh, I, I don't want Ichi Amakolom in this. I can't handle this woman. But you know that Ichi Amakolomi is the same person people go to when they have problems. Eh? So I don't think it's a bad idea for him to know what you're doing. Go and meet him and at least let him know what is going on. Go on now. Just go. Do you understand the importance of the explanation we just got from the head of town union? Do you? I heard all he said and I've done my own deductions. What do you think? It is now established that Madame Christabe is really the evil in Akama community. You know, Richie, we need to thank God that we didn't transfer our money to that woman. Big mistake. I wonder, how can a woman be the problem of a whole community? <clears throat> it sounds like a joke, but it's reality. That man really did not speak good of her. He also said she's the one that spoiled the community youth. And you it's know, no sense. I've always known that land business is not a business a woman should dabble into. Christabel is not only into land, but he's in the circle of land ricketing in this community. Uh, and that's very bad. As for a way forward, I think we should pretend like we have had nothing. Then call her, book an appointment with her for payment. She will want to come, you know? 
She's a scam. And I don't want to have anything to do with a scammer. Come on, man. See, let me tell you something. Hmm? When you uncover a foster and you fail to put it up on her face, she will think that you know nothing. See, let me tell you something. That woman, eh, we will do it to the end. Just come on, job. Go play the game. She feels she's smarter than us. But relax. We'll be on top of her. You trust me now. It's all good. All right. Report me. The truth of the matter is that I am not surprised at all. Chris Tabel is the evil in the Akama Kingdom. Evil or no evil, Uncle, talk to that woman. Tell her to desist from going to that land. Simple. I have had your complaint. While your father was alive, he was a close friend to me. While he was alive, he hated evil. And you will not see him dragging anything that was not his. You will not see him mending in evil. That is very true. The words make me emotional. But that is all the truth. Your father was an honest and straightforward man. My friend, may he so rest in peace. He was truthful and good man. That was why it was not difficult for his six daughters to get married. What does she stand to gain? I just feel that she's, she, she just looks for trouble intentionally. It's okay, my son. You coming to me shows you have a high regards for me. I will not hesitate to act on this. It's a promise. Thank you very much, Chichi. Thank you. Thank you. I'll, I'll be on my way. It's okay. Go away. Thank you, Chichi. Chris Tabel, he did it. You will never stop doing evil. What your boy state has not died down, and you are at it again. You need to be tamed. Hello, gentlemen. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, madam, were you able to get the guarantor? <laughs> of course. Cristobal gets everything that she wants. So here, Mr. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, how are you? I'm cool. Uh, thank you guys for choosing Akama for this project. And also, you guys are very lucky for choosing Madam Christabel. You need to hear. She is the best when it comes to land. Do you know what Mr. Kweme Udeni? You're not saying anything. Fine. We met the so-called Kweme Udeni, and we had a fruitful conversation with him. I'm actually a witness here. I don't know anything about the discussion you guys are starting. Oh, um, Madam Christabe, do you mind telling us who Okwe Meu Dane is in Akama community and his connection to the land in question? Gentlemen, you are the one who have suddenly started a conversation about one Okwe Meu. So I'm looking up to you to give me a vivid explanation of who he is 
and what he has to do with the business we have started. If I can understand you very clearly, are you trying to tell us that you don't know who Okoeme is in Akama community? Clearly, vividly, I do not know him. What kind of useless network do we have in this country? I have been trying and trying to reach this woman, yet it is not connected. What kind of useless network they have given us in this country? Madam, we've come to realize that Ikueme Udeni is the original owner of the land. So the question we keep asking is, why do you want to sell off his land without his permission? Listen, young man, Ikueme Udeni is not the original owner of any land. I don't know what you're talking about. No, really. Yeah. Well, if you say so, then so be it. Well, let me tell you, you're withdrawing from everything that has to do with that land. You can't do that. No, we're already on this deal. I mean, all necessary registrations for this land is already processed at the Ministry of Land. So what are you saying? Exactly. You see, I am just surprised that you guys listening to side talks. That land in question is our land. Hey, hey, Emmanuel, or whatever she call you, you can say that to fools and not me. Listen, young man, I don't know what this is all about. But you're beginning to get me pissed. You know what we're talking about. See, we don't want to go into an unending war with anybody about this land issue. So the deal is off the table. Oh, what do you mean by getting into an unending war? Who is going into war with you? Listen, I've already given you the information that all necessary documentation for this land is done at the Ministry of Land. So why are you standing here and speaking English? Oh, that is a very good work from you. But well, let me tell you, you can transfer the registration to your new buyer. You're no longer interested in this nonsense. Please, let's get out of here. If I use my backhand to slap you, you'll fall into that gutter. Come on, shut up and get out. This is where I live in Go, come on, get out. Where are you going to? Come on, get out of that place, my friend. Come, 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 come on, leave the leave the people of that place. Come, come on, get out. Her line is ringing. Let her pick and tell me the madness that has taken over her. Why is this woman not picking her calls? Why? She no picking her calls. Hello. Christabel, wife of Ivide. Is that you? Who is speaking? This is Ichia Makolom. Oh, Ichia. Hi, I greet you. I greet you too. Leave whatever you are doing now. I want to see you in my house. Ichia, is there a problem? Uh, not really. Uh, there is an important issue I want us to discuss. It's not possible right now. You cannot pull somebody like me just like that. I mean, you don't even know what my availability is. Christabel, 
failure to come, don't blame me, but rather blame yourself. Good day. The audacity. Ha. Nonsense. Christopher is just crushing half in this community. All in the name of power and quest for money. Without knowing that a good name is better than Riches. Excuse me. Presto. Yes? This news about you going to sell the promise land is a truth. Is that why you halted me? So the news about you going, selling and reselling of people's lands is not enough for a husband to call his wife to order? What could be more disturbing than a man receiving evil reports of his wife? First of all, I am warning you for the last time. Desist from this evil. Do not force me. You are pushing me to the world finally. You will not like what will happen at the world. What will happen at the world? Nothing. You are not going to. Force me down to your level. Good afternoon, sir. The project will no longer be in Akama community. Yes, sir. There are so many fraudulent activities going on in Akama community when it comes to land dealing. Okay. I suggest we move the project to Uduma. The neighboring community is fast developing. The reason why I said so is we need to stay away from Akama community with their fraudulent art and that Madam Christabel too. So what time? 6 p.m. is okay. to enter any room that I want at any given moment. Your house, you said? You should be ashamed of yourself, aren't you? Christopher, you packing out from our room to this place so you deny me the conjugal rights that you owe me as your husband is not my problem at all. It's not. Oh, yeah? If you think that I, Christabel, will open up my body for you to jump in again, then you must be a joker. I will never come to a public place like yours for I value my own nakedness. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know the meaning of the dark times. What is about to befall you if you do not stop this calamitous act of yours? I will not even think it is my problem. You will be crippled in Akama. I will act as if you were never my wife. I'm going to tell you a little story. 
being a woman and coming from a very, very poor background, I knew that I needed an extra edge to carve a space, a niche for myself in the authorities. So I started to work. I worked, worked, worked on so many things. I worked on developing myself, my personality, my poise and elegance. And having done that have made me to achieve so much in life. And that really pisses you off. <laughs> but then again, this just goes a long way to show the kind of man that I chose for a husband. Christopher, I gave you the wings to fly on. <laughs> you may be very stupid in all your thinking, this will never leave your brain, that I'm still the Igede of Akama. Igede of Akama. What? What, what is the business between you and Equimi, the son of the What about him? Who is that? Who is to stay away from my land. Tell your wife to stay away from my land at the express. That land does not belong to her, the land belongs to me. Tell your wife to stay away from my land. My wife is getting involved with your land? I don't understand. Miss Digger, your wife came to me, not once, not twice, three times, asking to buy my land off me. I turned her down. I told her clearly, that land is not for sale. That is my only inheritance from my father. I am not selling today, tomorrow, or any time ever. Stay away from my land. You know what your wife told me? She told me that since I am adamant on selling that land, that she's going to go ahead and sell the land. And that I would not do anything about it. I thought she was I thought it was a weak threat. Only for me to have two men walk into my shop, as luck would have it, Asking to see the head of Akama Progressive Union. I asked why. They said that, that they are in, in, in talks with someone who wants to sell a piece of land to them. Facing the experts. Coincidentally, it's my land. We say that your wife is trying very hard to sell my land without me knowing. She wants to carry out her threat. Help uh, me. Uh, please, I've heard what you said. I, I will fix this and then I'll send a message across to you. Uh, uh, Miss Tigede. You cannot afford to be cold on this matter. This is beyond you hearing me. I need you to act upon it. For if I see your wife's leg on my land again, you are going to be a widower. Hear me now. You are going to bury your wife. Has it gotten to this point? It has gone beyond this point. He is lucky I wasn't home because I would have dealt with him. Well, let me quickly blink to you. Notice that the Kwame is not a man that can easily be tired of. You get to tell that to fools, actually. Yes. If Equime tries that one more time, I will make him bleed blood. Well, it may interest you to know that. The queer man has been initiated into the masquerade court. So he's not the man you think he is. <laughs> I think he is not the man that you think he is. There's a reason they call me Madame Christopher. And that reason, I will show you that there is something indeed mighty than the masquerade called Vakam. And that thing is Christopher Ikide. For coming to my house, 
Jesus to warn me. I am going to show him that I am that hard peel that he cannot swallow. Well, my candid advice, stop piling up enemies for yourself. When it is over, I will not come for your rescue. When the weapons start flying. Does a woman go to rescue a man? I went to Equeme several times, begging and pleading that he sells the property to me. What did he do? Put two shoulder pads on his shoulders and puffed up for me. Who the hell is Equeme? Is the owner of the land? You cannot force him to sell his land. I will sell that land and nothing will happen. This is Christabel. Kid. There's a reason to that. I'm already on the map. You know, God did not bless me with a noble wife, but I've learned to live with a blunder. I will get to the root of it and get you posted. Trust me on this. Okay. I appreciate, I appreciate. Yes. Things are definitely not done that way. You cannot pull a woman of my caliber out of her home just like that. I have my schedule and I work strictly by my schedule. Since you claim to have something very important to discuss, with me. Why don't you come to my house? Why are you insisting that it should be the other way around? You know what? You know what? I'll be waiting. The audacity for me. It is stupid women that give baseless and senseless men like you the undue privilege and undeserved respect. That is why you think every woman is the same. Nonsense. Eh? What the fuck is the name of How come you're telling me this now? The um, truth is, I didn't want to bother you with this matter. I had wanted to handle it my way, but it has come to the point where I have to, I have to fight back and maybe dirty. Hey. Eh? This woman about Crystal Bell, are you sure she's okay? It's not only that woman. How can a woman like her be selling and reselling all the lands in this community the way she does? The worst is that she doesn't even respect or regard her husband. In fact, I feel no pity for them. That's his choice. But have you gone to tell him? Yes, I have. I spoke to Ichi as well. I was at his place this evening. Or the mother might be made okay. Let's just see if they will call her to order. Eh? Namana. Hey! Why? Why? I'd rather draw this woman. She's not okay. She's not. She needs to be called to order. Yeah. Oh. Bro, what's up? I've been trying your line, but it hasn't been connecting. Okay, no problem. I spoke to Mr. George. About removing the project to Uduma community. I was calling because the meeting was scheduled to be six, and this is five thirty. Okay, okay, I'm waiting. Please be fast. All right, thank you. 
Yuani Che, you have yet to set people. So the world do we owe this August visit? Hmm. Che get it. Your wife here knows the reason of my coming. In fact, she is the reason of my coming here. She rejected my invitation and summoned me to come. And here I am. She said that to you? Christopher, do you know the gravity of what you have done? What is wrong with him visiting me in my house? Do you know who this man seated before you is in Akama? Does it look like I care? Do you know who this woman standing right before you is in the corridors of power? Please, I'm already apologizing on her behalf. Do not insult me by apologizing on my behalf as though I did something wrong. He started this meeting. He's here already, so let him speak. Especially now that I'm still ready to listen to the jargons that you have to say. Listen, are you out of your senses? This is not the kind of man you'd be showing this type of attitude to. The young man was actually here threatening fire and rhyme stuff. She is your wife. I am hoping she will listen to you. She can use all her connections with her fraudulent friends to sell lands that belong to others, but not to the one that called me uncle. What are you going to do if I decide to sell the land? Huh? All of you in Akama parade yourselves as men. When in the right sense, when real men begin to speak, you quiver. Christabel, I have not come to banter words with you. But I have come to plead with you to remove the hand of monkey from the soup before it transforms into the hand of a human. Who is the monkey and who is the human? Kissable! I want you to solve this problem. Apologize to Iche at once. I am not going to do such a thing. Yes, because as a matter of fact, all of these ones who do not know how to mind their Business are the ones who should apologize to me. Uh, please don't come after her. I will call her to order. Uh, this matter will be resolved at once. He will not call me to order. Mark it somewhere. Nobody in Akama can stop me. Are you, are you, are you okay? Just a bit. Hmm. So, Kim, what is Ekweme doing about this? He has gone to report to Ichi Amakonum. Mm -hmm. Then he also told me that he's going to report to the woman's husband. I'm very sure both men can talk some senses into her. He still needs to go and see the OB and lay complaints. But he assured me that the chair Makalum can handle it. Hmm. Okay. I know the chair Makalum is a great man and he can tame that woman. But the queen still needs to go and see the OB. So, the obi should know about this. I will tell you. Igede is actually the problem I have. Yeah. How can a woman you married with their money be so wide that you cannot be able to control her? <laughs> Same thing I asked. <laughs> Nanyi, Nanyi, huh? don't blame the husband. Christabel is just impossible. I'm sure that she has overwhelmed her husband so much that the poor man does not know what to do. She's just impossible. In fact, she has finished that man. Mama, you just said the concrete truth. Yes, she's impossible. She's impossible. Uh -huh. uh -uh. An evil. But I still blame him. I still blame that man. I mean, I think he's very weak. Eh? It's him that is he's allowing her to do anything and anyhow she likes. Imagine because she renovated the house, put small thing here and there. House that was there before they married her. She's now going around the whole place. Then everybody that she built the house. And the man kept quiet. Just imagine. It means that he's weak. That's Just Christabel. imagine. Uh, uh, that's well, Christabel. Christabel. is weak. Very that is why the wife is doing and saying all this rubbish. And he cannot be able to do anything. Christabel. What is hey. tomorrow, Christabel? You get you don't know. Her. Money said she's oh, making God. from the land that she's doing is entering her head. Maybe that's even why the man is afraid to talk. 
because I don't understand. Women. Women. Not women. Not women. Not women. I say women. You lie. Christopher, let me remind you that men of Akama Kingdom don't sell land and use that money for useless things. But rather, they use it for good things like uh, uh, commercial buildings, uh, school fees, and all of that. Have we now degenerated into financial counseling? How come you now want to teach me how to use my money? Oh, not your money, but the money you made out of the sale of land. It is my money. First of all, listen to me. Men of Akama Kingdom don't sell land and use it for useless things. Anyone who does that is cursed and will never progress in life until they submit themselves to who you are. That is cleansing of uh, the sacraments and abomination. And who is supposed to submit to such ridiculous tradition? Me? <laughs> you must be joking. <laughs> Christopher, you have destroyed the roots of this land by helping them into land racketing. Now today, there is no land to sell. So what are they going to sell? I can see that you no longer have something tangible to say. So I'll be up in my mansion to rest my bones. Christopher, dare not walk out on a chair. If people of Umbanka don't have respect for considered authorities, we do here. Who is the authority here? This one? Or yourself? <laughs> Both of you must be jokers. Stop joking with me like that. Okay? When you are done blabbing, leave my house. Now listen to me, Christabel. For looking at me in the face and say I am loving, I am talking nonsense. You will not end well. Mark my words. It is you and your entire miserable generation that will not end well. Let me even ask you. Does it look like you're living well? Do you take a good look at yourself in the mirror and see that you look like a rejected burnt offering? Do you? Old man, when you are done blabbing, get out of my house. Nonsense. This is exactly what I've been living with. But I'm asking for your mercy. In any way, I will make things right. Please. I don't like painting words. Your wife will pay for this. I will make sure she suffers. This is the reason I keep saying that every man of Akama must marry a woman from Akama Kingdom. If this woman were to be a woman from Akama, she will not do what she has done now. And I will show her that there are two owners of a goat. The death that killed the goat is more original than the others. I cannot say I understand what you're saying, but what I'm asking for is for Miss. I will, I will call her to order. She's my wife, right? I will try and call her to order and I will get back to you. Please. Shameless, stupid, idiotic fool! You are not even married. All you care about is basking in your late father's property. Look at you, idiot! Okay, I don't know why you're willing like a dog. But my point is very clear. I see your legs on my father's land. I cut it. I see your leg on my property. I cut it. Is that your land? Eh? You're raising your shoulders up. Have you bought a piece of land before? It is your father's land. Put your shoulders down. Not I yours. He said the land belongs to his father, not him. Happily, I'm in here. Am I the person you're referring to as a mad person? Hey, you are even worse than that. Leave my compound though, before I will deal with you. 
Apple man, it's a good thing. You're very lucky that today I didn't come for you. Because if I came for you, eh, madam? Stay out of my case. Let me talk to this idiot. You are still here, Bia. You are still here. Come here, come here. Bia, okay. When you want to talk to me, bring your shoulders down. Uh, but calm down. You hear me? Calm down. See, my mother is going inside. She's going to bring hot water and she's going to pour it on your face and your makeup and your skin will peel off. If you try that nonsense, tell that idiot, that old fool that Madame, you sent to my house, Madame Christa, that the next time he tries that nonsense, I'll use the force against you, you two. Uh, are you serious? The water is coming. What water? Nobody can. That's the water. Nope. That is the water. Nope. That, is the water. Why, that is the hot water. Come now. Come. In a idiot, Ilana. Stupid woman, useless woman. Why in Ilana? I don't understand. What does this woman want on that water? Can you imagine? Is there something special on that on that land that we don't know? No, if you don't get me in Ilana, if you don't get me why in Ilana, useless right. woman. Let me help you. Crazy or something? Why would anybody do this? You? Don't even come with that to you. Um, you did this. Uh, 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 keep quiet. See, what I tell you. If you like, look me from head to toe. Then from toe to head. Come still go back again and look me from head to toe again. You see, today we will die here. We will die here. You think it's that time you 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 be gallivanting around the whole village, Neko? I'm not welcome, Madam Neko. You see today, I can see that here. you have gone, you have gone bonkers, you have gone bananas. Are you crazy or something? <laughs> you see, they speak English, eh? You think you have gone bananas? You have gone bonkers. What this one says? Hold it. What is this for? Let's do it, woman to woman. Are you mad or something? Chimo, did you say mad? It, but I'm mad. But I'm mad. Did you just call me mad? Eh? Oh, you think I'm here to joke with you? I'm not here to joke with you. You see that power that you're always going around town, showing that you have power. I want you to show me that power now. It's a legend. 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 Let me ask you. Will you enter a QMS line again? Oh, you better get Well. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I go on. So, what is the whip mark on your body for? Oh, the angry mobs that you've been offending decided to take their pond of flesh, isn't it? Ah, this is just the beginning. One day they will strip you naked. Yes. <laughs> you just a man. You never see me laughing. What? You can't believe You can't believe Sir, who is chasing you? Where are you coming from with this cane? Let me catch my breath first. Thank you, me. My sorry. Sorry that I not greet you when I came in. Oh, anyway. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Hi. 
I came to your house to hide. You go, oh. Okay. <sighs> Who is chasing you? So the stupid, senseless daughter of Nadi had the effrontery. She had the temerity, the audacity to descend on me in this community. Eh? And flog me like this. Without fear. As if she wasn't afraid of me. Madame Christabel, me. <laughs> In Kem Dilim, or whatever you call yourself, I will deal with you. <laughs> I will so deal with you and make sure that you shed blood. How do I even cover this up? <laughs> no. If you see what I did to that woman today, if you see the way I flogged that woman today, ha! by now, her buttocks will be telling her the real story. In fact, her buttocks will be on fire. Uh -uh, just taking too much now. See now, I think we should teach that woman a lesson she will never forget. Has she not done enough? Who is going? Uh -uh. I insist you shouldn't have done that. You should have allowed us men to deal with her our own way. Not you. Okay? Not you. But you people have been taking too long now. And that's why she's, she's misbehaving. Besides, I don't even think there's anything wrong with me fighting for my friend. And I know, Christabel Igede will not take this lying low. I know she will want to fight back. Ah, me too, I know now. You think I don't know? I know, and I'm waiting for her. I'm not scared of her. Uh, but that is why I actually ran here to hide. Because I'm very sure by now, she will be going around the whole village with police. That's the only thing she knows how to do now. And that's the only power she has. If not for police, ha! I agree. I'm, you know me, I'm not scared of her. Eh? I'm not scared of her. No police. I say no police will come into this community to, to make unwarranted arrest. Mm. All the same. Did you inform uh, your parents and the queen me? Did you tell them what happened? No, I have not told anybody. But they need to know. <laughs> I don't want anybody to know where I am for now. Uh, let's just wait until things cool down small. Oh? Check it now. Officers, come, 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 come. This is her father's house. Go inside and do your job. Bakwam, is there anyone in this house? Bakwam. Officer, can you go inside and do your job? Stop shouting, Pam Pam. Go inside, arrest the girl and let us go. Madam, you have to take it easy. This is a case of two fighting. Who told you it is a case of two fighting? Eh? You don't know your job. You want me to teach you. Is that what I wrote at the station? I didn't write that it was a case of two fighting because I didn't fight her. Oh God, she willed me and had the guts to flog me with that poverty infested kid. And you stand here to tell me it was a case of two fighting. How is it two fighting? Oh God, go inside and do your job. Let's go. Madam, we are here to invite the girl to the station to tell us why she flogged you. Exactly. Any other case can be established. Why are we still standing here speaking English now? Why can't you go inside and do the job? Who are you people and why are you disturbing the peace of mind? <laughs> that makes it very easy. Officers, this is her mother. Arrest her. Madam, your daughter is under arrest for flogging this woman. She has to come to the station. My daughter and came? I don't understand. Flogging uh, Chris Abbe as what? Masquerader or what? That is why we have come to take her to the station. Where is she? As you can see, she's not at home. Officer, why are you looking at her in admiration? Why? If you cannot find the daughter, you arrest the mother! What? Yes, you. Chris are you okay? Are you sick? Arrest who? Me? 
You know I won't take this, right? What's my business with you? Both of you are standing there watching her. Did you see the way she's doing like this for me? She's asking yes. me if I'm sick. Are you okay? I'm Arrest well. this woman. Let's go. Can't you see what your daughter did to me? Can you not see it? Arrest this woman, Oga. Let's go. I don't even understand how people will just be looking for trouble. Just be looking for trouble anyhow. Okay. You, you went and thief a man's land. And then, for some reason, by the grace of God, the man found out that you thief his land. And then, did his own part for you not to thief the land. And then you went to the person's house to insult the person because the person did not allow you to sell his land that you thief. <laughs> nah, Christabel, you don't have sense. Sense is far away from you. And you don't have class. Schengen class you don't have. Hey. In fact, this cane that I used to wire your book, your bomb bomb, have class more than you. The next time I, I catch you, the kind of cane I will bring for you, you yourself you will confirm that you don't have class. Uh-uh. I even blame this paper. It's them that is giving her that hand and she's dreaming anyhow. If it's only me in this village, yeah, she would have <laughs> stopped stealing land since now. Okay. Sir? I brought you something to eat. Nine. Thank you. Thank you very much. But honestly, eh, Fonga is not wiring me at all. What is in this my head now is how to catch that crystal bell and teach her a big lesson so that the next time she sees another person's land, Afarobe. In fact, anytime she sees another person's land that is not her own, eh, she will remember as right in her primary school and do it. I want to deal with her so that in her life, if she come back again in this world, eh, she will never steal another person's land. Never. That is what I am looking for now. I'm not hungry at all. I know all that. I know your anger. But I want you to take something. Hmm? Eat. No matter how small it is, just take. Or better still, you can go to the kitchen and prepare something for you to eat. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. And if you are so sure that it was my daughter who flogged you, why didn't you flog her back? Officers, do you need more evidence to show that it is this woman that sent her to do that nonsense? This is no time for drama. Ah! Now you please come on! Oh. Come and see the warmonger of Akama. She has come here to our house to arrest us with policemen and guns. They want to put us in prison, oh. To do what? To arrest us. What is going on here? Your daughter in came to live. Laid ambush on this lady. Flogged her mercilessly. Look at her body. Where for finger there? That refused to be a wife. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hide your face in shame. Is this is this what you're going to say to me? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It should clap for you, Nayangwan. Clap for her. Evil woman. Bad woman. I have told them my daughter is not home. Yes, she has said that already. But let her report herself to the station as soon as possible. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mba, mba. Officer of the law, I totally disagree with you. You're going to go inside. You're going to lift the pots, the pans, the spoons, the knives, the fork, and look for her. Because for all I care, she could just be hiding somewhere in the house. Officer, our daughter is not at home. She's not home. Corporal John. Sir. Search the inside. Good. Christabel. May the gods punish you. Punish you too. May the gods make you suffer the consequences of all the evil. All the evil you have committed in this community. You will see, Betty. You will see. Hmm. Bad woman. Wicked woman. The girl is not in this house. You mean she's not inside? Oh, that's pretty easy. So now you will have to arrest both father and mother because she will come to your station to look for them. Then you arrest her. You are not where she's the not The police where. do not work that way. Mm-hmm. Our emphasis is the suspects. I will get her to the station. See? <laughs> yes. 
We shall get her. Come with me. Let's go. I'm not done. Just go, bad woman. I'm not done with you. Come back anytime. I'll be yeah, waiting yeah, okay. for you. Go back. Christabel is go not done. Go and control your husband anyhow. I'll come back. See her. Officer, wait. Hey! I know where she will be. It's her boyfriend's place. Are you sure we'll find her there? She has nowhere else to go. Let's just get there. We'll find her. Okay. If you insist. I insist. Let's go. Right, take us there. We are here for one miss in Kendi Lim. I don't understand. Does this look like her parents' house? Madam, we've been to her father's house. She's not there. And we are just coming from her son's shop. She's not there either. And we have come to search this house. Probably she might be hiding somewhere in this compound. Officers, what I do not understand is why he would stand here bantering words with this woman Shut when you should go inside and do your job. Shut up! You must be very stupid to think you can come into my compound with the police and search for who doesn't live here. Are you okay? Madam, we do not want to rough handle you. Just allow us to do our job. Oh. Officers, we don't have time. Go drag that girl out before I lose my mind. Remember, you dare not. You, can I see your search warrant, officer? Yes. From which court? Yes! How Officers. can you come into my compound to search for someone who doesn't live here? So let me see your search warrants! Officers, do your job before you I lose my mind! You cannot do anything, Christabel. You cannot do anything! Yes! Why? Okay. Why? Why did you go fighting for me? Did I ask you? Hi. No, no, Kim, no, no. You should have, you should have just allowed me to handle this, Madam Christabel, my way. Yeah? Now you're nowhere to be found. The police is looking for you everywhere. I can't even reach you. Small Kendalim. Shameless land racketeer. Officers, did she tell you the crime she has been committing in this community? By selling and reselling people's land. Oh, you shut your mouth and stop saying things that you do not know. You are too small to shut me up, Christabel. You are too small. How dare you? Christabel, you are so shameless. Officers, this lady here you have been defending has been a nuisance in our village. Yes, she has been the one selling and reselling people's land in Akama. So you're supposed to be seen with her, with and such dirty character. And why are both of you still standing here moping and listening to her? They are listening to me because they know that what I am saying is the truth. Yes. Okay, you want to arrest and kill him for mustering the courage to beat and flog you silly. You have not seen anything yet. This is just the beginning. The youths will come after you. Christabel, what you have been doing in this community is sacrilegious and you must submit yourself for cleansing. It is you and your entire miserable generation that will have to submit to that cleansing. Madam, is what this woman saying the truth? And why are you asking me that stupid question? Yes, he is asking you for you to answer him. Yes, but I know you will not. You will not. Officers, this nonsense woman here tried to sell my son's land a few days back without his knowledge. <clears throat> In that case, Corporal John. Sir! We shall report to the station. Yes, sir! What is that supposed to mean? That you are not going to do the job you were brought here for? Woman, good day. What do you even mean by that? 
You are the fix. Hey! You are the fix. You have the cost to cut police and enter my compound. Uh, excuse hey, me. Get excuse out. me too. Get out of my compound. I said get out, please. Excuse me. Smell uh, off. Dirty woman. Shameless woman. Napalum police. Can you imagine? Eh? Nonsense. How could this girl just disappear into thin air? And her phone is switched off. You see the kind of girl you brought up? Hmm? You see the kind of girl you brought up? Go to lay ambush and flog Madame Christabel. Shows that in them they let our daughter is a nuisance. Mama, I greet you. Ekwemi, please, where's my daughter? In Kemi is not here. No. I don't know. I, I'm looking for her myself. Everyone is looking for her. Uh, 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 Madame Christabel, she, she has sent police people to, to, to search for her everywhere. They were here a few moments ago to arrest her. Ekwemi. Did you send my daughter to go fighting for you? Oh, no, 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 that, 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 that's not possible. I, I, I didn't do so. I, and her phone is switched off. Exactly. I've been trying to call her myself and, and it's, it's, it's all going worried. through. Kweme, are you sure you have no idea of where she could be? I have no idea. That's why I'm here. I, but I understand she's not here, but I'm, I'm going to keep searching for her, okay? Oh, I, I, I'm not relenting at all. I'll, I'll keep searching for her. Please. Hopefully, we'll find her. Okay. Uh, please, please oh. if, 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 I, if I hear anything, I, I'll be back. Please. Yeah? Oh. All right, thank okay. you. I said it. I said it. I said it. DPO. Yes. Listen, I don't know what I ever did to you. But my question to you is, what is my crime exactly? Why would you send those kind of men to me? I told you that those men are old and haggard. But I didn't even know that it's not just them being old and haggard. They are also very incompetent. Why would you send such men to me? Listen, listen, Mr. Ma, listen, listen to me, listen to me, this is Madam Christabel speaking. Yes, it's either you refund my money or you get those old haggard fools to go and do the job that they were being paid to do. Arrest that girl, put her in your custody until I am satisfied. Nonsense. How can you be quick to take money and slow to your job. <laughs> yeah. She was also here with the policeman saying she wants to search my house for Ngendelem. <laughs> Trust your mom. Trust to Negeno. I gave it to her very hot. At Apuanua, that woman is a useless woman. Watch her on Apuala, but she met her match today. Sigi, how is that possible? Eh? How is that possible? Yeah, Imadi Yangwa, I told them to show me the search warrant or court order that permits them to search my house for someone who doesn't live in my house. Yeah, they couldn't show me. <laughs> Everything turned against her. When I told them, the policemen, how she sells and resells lands in this community. Nkema is not here. She's not here. I don't even know where she is. She could be running because of her men. Now we can pull her on our ball also. You came to him. Where are you? Kim, Kim, where are you? Kim, how, how can your phones be switched off when you know that I'll be worried about you? Kim, 
and this is too much to take. I just hope that you're fine wherever you are. Just hi. Not seeing you for a whole day makes me sick, and Kim. Not knowing your whereabouts makes me even more sick. Where do I begin to look for you? Will I continue to live without you? Please reach out to me. in Kimberley. Where is the one woman that means the world to me? Where is she? Never mind. Only the one you. How can you be doing this to yourself? Eh? Why would you stop yourself simply because Mkendelim is missing? Makagin is She fought my battles, mom. Stood for me. And now she's missing. Why is she missing? Why would she be missing? No, come on, it's Inugo. This is the third day. Abaneto, Ilibeni, and Banono. I don't have appetite, mom. Just to go to him and mom again. How can a full fledged man like you be doing this to yourself simply because in Kendalim is missing? And I say, Sim, you don't love her. You don't love her. Eh? Why not marry her and get peace of mind? How do I marry her when she's missing, mom? You seem not to understand what her disappearance is doing to me. Excuse me. I am your mother. And trust me when I said that she is fine wherever she is. You know what? Come and eat. Now, let me you know. Let me you know. You know. Pick your call now.
Ha! Now what happened now? I bet it's okay, no. I came out of you. You didn't eat your food. I didn't see you here. Where did you go to? Eh? It's again, eh? You are where? Here! Do you what to do, Kwan? Eh? By this time of the night, you can be mad. You should have waited now till morning. Eh? You should have waited. It's late, very late. It's over, brother. I'm sitting here waiting for you. I'm here. I know that. I know that. Me. I'm not going anywhere. The door is open. I am still sitting here. I'll sit here till you come back. I think you don't want to be I will sit here till you come back. Children, eh? These children. This boy is not back. Even suggest let's go. Eh? When it is all all over the place that um, that wicked evil woman is looking for me in the, in the village. Oh, that's old news. Uh, Madam Christabel has been defeated. Eh? I'm telling you, forget it. How? Oh well, as we speak right now, she's on the run. My mother called the police into this matter, eh? and then she narrated to them all of her atrocities in her camera. So they sent out men to look for her and apprehend her, but she took off. So right now they're still looking for her. And I also gather that her husband has gone ahead to testify against her. So right now, Christabel is in a lot of mess and you are the least of her problems. Hey, where did I run now? I shouldn't have run, no. Hey, I would have stayed. I would have stayed and faced her and that her useless police people. Hey, but hey, mom, I'm waiting for her. That one, I will still catch her. And I will still teach her a lesson. So you don't think you did enough damage? Mbao! Hi! I told my picture you can hear me. I wanted to flog her. After flogging her, that her butters will do true confession. But I will do it next time. You do? Hmm? Me, me. Um, Mkim Dilim, I have another question for you. Please, why did you turn off your phone? So that nobody would dress me now. I don't want anybody to know where I am until everything cooled down. Including me. You are number one. Eh, because I know that if you know, you will now come. 
and start asking me to go, just like you are doing now, suggesting, let's go. Ah, uh, I know what to do. I will turn off my phone. Hi. Oh, okay. So that all those women that you have nude will not know where you are. Gods of Akama, what is going on here? When did Ekweme enter my house? Nkendelem. Ekweme. Nkendelem. Ekweme. Sir. 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 Ekweme, when did you enter my house? Hmm? Um, uh, um, uh, Uncle, you were sleeping uh, when you came in last night. Uh, um, Ichie, I... I am... Um, I, I, I came to see you so that you can take me to Edibia's place um, to help us with the whereabouts of of Kim Delim. Only for me to, you know, you know, come in here and I was I was pleasantly surprised to to see her. So we just got talking and then we do, we do stuff. Hmm. Christabel, Christabel must be made to pay the ultimate price. She and those. Worthless community boys. They must be made to submit themselves for cleansing and the sacrilege of selling other people's land. Please sit down. Thank you, Chief. Ichi Amakolo, there must be a reason for visiting me this early. Yes, the crime of one selling other people's land uh, might be ignored in other lands, but here in Akama Kingdom, if not properly handled, will destroy others, and that I don't want. That is the reason I am here. Let me tell you something, old man. Do you think I do not know that you just want to lure me to your useless deity? I'll tell you something. I will not submit to that. Oh, Christabel, I want to remind you that no one runs faster than his chief. You are not my chief. So why don't you learn to stay out of my business? It is not all about me. It is all about the crime you have committed, the sacrilege you have brought to Akama Kingdom. And if you refuse to submit yourself for the cleansing, we will run you out of this town. I'm afraid. Can you please tell me just how you intend to run me out of this community? You get it. He doesn't know how to answer that question. Do you want to help him? You get it. I want you to talk to your wife. If a person decides to cook for the majority, it is easy for them to finish it. But when the majority decides to cook for the minority or just one person, it is always difficult. It is difficult for that minority to finish it. And who is the majority? Listen, Christabel is a shining star and will never submit to you nor anyone else. Even Ruby is getting married. Hey! But why am I the only one who is not making progress? Why? If I cannot have a Kweme, then that low life will not have him either. Crazy girl. <laughs> My love. Guess what? Madam, say what you want to say now. I am not in the mood. Ah, guess now. 
Madam, talk now. Ah, I'm not in the mood. Okay, fine. You will not spoil my happiness. May I say this for friends? <laughs> and I said yes to the love of my life. <laughs> Even you? You mean you are, you're getting married? Getting married? You're supposed to be happy. I'm confused. Why are you like this? What's wrong? No, 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 no. This cannot happen. Hmm. Get ready to marry two wives. If you must have anything to do with that low life. Cassandra, what's the color of your problem? What is it? What's wrong with you? Do you even know what they're expecting of me to do? Of course. Whatever they are expecting you to do, you do it. That's the only way to buy back the peace that will elude you if you fail to comply. Do you know that Ikwaru connotes that I, Christabel, the shining star, will be paraded around this community with leaves tied around my big buttocks? So what? What is wrong with that? If that's the length to go to, to make peace with the man of Ak Akamba, then do it. What, what's your problem? Why you don't want to solve your problem once, once and for all? I do not have a problem. It is you men of Akama that has a problem. And that is why you have refused to mind your business. What is wrong with my wife? She's not in any way forward to solve her problems. My goodness. It's here, it's here, I hear you. You know, but what confuses me still is what you have said about the structures that are in place in Akama. And I'm asking if Akama have always had such strict structures, then why then, you know, has this community allowed irresponsible elements like Mrs. Igede to, to you know, to garner so much power? Over time. Equipment. We give a sinner space to sin more, hoping that one day he so a cop will be full. That is the stage we are in now. Okay, what if she refuses to do all that? Oh, then we will leave the offer and allow her to face the offer. Uh, are you people really sure that she she has any regard for all of that? You think she takes all of that seriously? However, whichever way she decides to take it, it is none of my business. We will lift the ofo of our kama. And that ofo is connected to our journey, which she has defied by selling another person's land. If we lift the offer and the offer decides not to act, then the shame will be on the offer and not on us. Aliche, I hear you, but don't you think that this would give her the opening to continue to insult the elders of our Um, the women, I want us to leave that woman alone and talk about your marriage. Marriage? It's your what marriage? The greatest tragedy that will befall a man is having eyes yet cannot see. I will talk no more on this. Came the lame, your mother and I have decided that first thing tomorrow morning you will leave for Lagos. I have discussed with my sister Vero, you know her very well, and she says I have found something for you to be doing over there. The plan is for you to go there, work, save money, and start a life of your own. Exactly. I can do it here now. Uh -uh. Is it not life again? I can start life here. When we was on that job, I've learned everything I need to start life with in a QMS shop. I can even open my own branch. I don't need to start the branch here so that we will not be competing with ourselves. Mm. I'll go to another village and start it up. I don't need to go to Lagos. So you want to remain in this village? And continue to fool yourself with that stupid boy called a QMS? Oh, no, 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 no. It won't happen. 
I am the head of this family. I have taken my decision, and my decision is final. You Mom. must go to Lagos. Mom! It's not as if I want to disobey my father. But don't you think it is better for you people to allow me to stay where my spirit accepts? Eh? Why not that your spirit accept going to live with your aunt, which is my sister, mm -hmm. eh? than staying in this town? Uh, because this is my town. This is where I grew up. This is where I have people. This is where I've already established my life. Eh? Even the Lagos that you want me to go. People are running away from Lagos and coming down to our, uh, uh, this Akama because they have realized now that home is the best. This is that same Lagos that you want me to run to. Nobody's running away from Lagos. There are people from the village heading to Lagos. Right. And you must go to that Lagos. Mm -hmm. yes. Leave it with me. Start your life. <laughs> okay. Oh. I'll go if you say so. But just know that my, my, my heart is not happy. My heart is not happy. My at all. sister Vero will make you happy. Papa? You people are not concerned that my heart is not happy. You will survive. Maybe she I will make you know. happy. She will make you happy. You know her very well. Papa? So you'll be happy for me to leave my heart here and go to, to Lagos. And my heart to be here suffering. You will not die, you will survive. Go. Well, we can't go. Small we can't. You know, my sister will settle your heart. She knows how to calm everything down. You know, you are going to be telling you all this. You know it very well. And I know what. <laughs> Eh, come by this. Yeah. Stand there. Yes, ma'am. How are you? Fine. That's why you're calling me this one. Climb up a little. Just, just go to that side, that point. Go up now! Stand there. I say, how are you? Fine. Yeah. Are you, are you hearing noises? Are you hearing noises? Yes, please. Are you hearing, hearing any other noise? Ah, I wonder what's going on. Face the other side, face the other side first. Let me see something. There's something I want to see. Go, move forward. One, two, three. Stand there. Nobody slapped you. <laughs> no. I'm only going to slap you for this answer. Nobody. Hey, come. Stand there. Make sure you put your eyes on me. What did I say? Watch me. Stand, don't move, just stand there. Eyes on me. Did you slap me? No. Did you slap me? No, am I mad?
I must confide in you. You came highly recommended. But the only problem I have now is that girl. There is something about her that arrests his soul. Exactly what you told me already. And you want me to take her out of this town, Abby? Yes. At least she should be out for like a year. Before she returns, I would have succeeded in forcing a Kweme to pay my bride price. Why do you like talking too much? Just wear the ring I gave to you. Find a way and hold her hand. Why holding her hand? Ask her to leave Akama for you and never to come back till you ask her to come back. Um, DJ, what if she refuses? <laughs> what I gave to you is a combination of Ekuekwe and Etiada. One name. Just do what I told you and see her leave a karma for you. <laughs> Thank you, <Luigi. laughs> I don't know what you're doing here. And I also do not know why you are staring at me like that. <laughs> but listen, oh, the fact that I opened this gate for you and allowed you to enter into my compound should let you understand that I am not scared of you. So you see that thing that you have in mind to do? Do it all. Bring it on. I am ready for you. Hey. Okay. I, I am not here for war. I am serious. I'm not here for war. I have realized that I have been unnecessarily too harsh on you. So I decided to come ask for your forgiveness. I want to right my wrongs. Please. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Please. <sighs> I don't understand though. And I don't have any problem with you at all. So I don't know why you're doing this. It's, you don't need to, honestly. Chevy, I've always wanted equipment all to yourself. Eh? That is the problem. But don't worry. Your wish has come to pass. You have gotten your wish because I'm going to Lagos tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so I'll be traveling to Lagos tomorrow. So equipment is all yours. Wait, uh, are you serious? You are leaving tomorrow. Oh, that is good news. When are you coming back? When? Don't ask her that anymore. But she goes nowhere. <laughs> Ikweme, I thought you said you were going to the king's obi with Ichiyama column. Yes. The king has finally raised the offer after a long prayer against the evil elements in Akama. And so immediately I left to come and see my woman. And who are you calling your woman? You know, Ichi Amakolum once said to me that the greatest tragedy to befall a man is to have ears and not hear, eyes and not see. But I have come to see clearly that you are the light of our karma, that light that will brighten my path. What the hell are you saying to this village girl right before me? You cannot be involved with this thing! Your parents once told me that you'll be leaving this town to the city for a brighter future. And I tell you that that future is here with me as my wife. You will stay here with me. I will leave as man and wife to become all that you and I have been destined to become. I've always loved you. I loved you from the day that you said hello to me and I said hi to you. I came the limb, you complete me. Without you, I am nothing. I want to spend the rest of my life not just living with you, but not being able to live without you. I ask, my darling, Nkem, Nkem Gardelim, will you marry me? No! 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 Yes! Yes, 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 I'll marry you. I'll be your wife. I'll go anywhere with you. I'll be anywhere you want me to be. I'll marry you. <laughs> oh. What is it? Why not just don't come inside? Say, I'm in the portion. I'm in the portion. I don't even come. Take free. Everybody, I know see my now. I don't know who the portion. What do you mean, madam? 
he is complaining that somebody is pushing her. What's the meaning of that? Now what did she tell me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even come inside house. I check fridge. I check everywhere. Even I enter your room when I know so present, I don't see anybody. What kind of a woman so full of herself? Feeling like a messiah that nobody can test. Uh, but she don't know. Nah, no, but just so I buy a gem. Cause every day for the thief, one day for the she owner. Said, Respect of nobody. A heartless is somebody. She don't care for no, nobody. She is so mean now. Respect of nobody, heartless is somebody, she don't even care, she's a very mean fella. Oh, 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 Iji, start talking. <laughs> you should be the one that should be talking. I ask you to hold her hand. A simple instruction. You held her hand and we are carried away. By her promise of leaving the town tomorrow. You created the vacuum for the proposal. So, there's nothing I can do. Oh, that is what you are saying. It's your whatever your name is called. What are you trying to do? You are trying to blame it on me now. <laughs> you have failed woefully. You must pay me that 100,000 naira I gave to you for that useless ring. Where's the money? <laughs> is that what you want? That is what you must do. Else, people will know what we are discussing here. Let me have my money. Produce my ring, and I will give you your money. Your ring is here. What is the meaning of this? I don't know. Where is the ring I was wearing now? I should be asking you. If you have misplaced the ring, <laughs> you have to produce 1.4 million naira for me to neutralize the power therein. And you have to do that so urgently before a man touches it. When that happens, I should not be held responsible for what will happen to you. I see you lie. You lie. Why do you want me to start looking for the ring? You invoked it out of my hand. So I am sure that ring is with you. Start looking for your ring. Oh yeah, give me my money. There's something evil about this room. Something dark about this room. Abomination. What is it? A man has touched the ring. And there's nothing I can do about it. Now get out. Get out from here before I show you the other side of me. What do you mean by there's nothing you can do? If She figured it. Do you remember what I told her the day she looked at me in the face and said I was talking nonsense? Do you remember? 
You said that she will never end well. That is the tragedy that has befallen her. She insulted an only of Akama Kingdom. The forces that watch over Akama Kingdom have sent her out of Akama. Of Ichama Kolom. Is there nothing to be done about this? Hmm. Because of the children she bore for you, the children of Akama Kingdom, she could be forgiven, but under one condition. What is it? That she submit herself for cleansing and promise to be of good behavior going forward. Faster than his tea, we always meet his or her water loads. O Metreaburu, Ioya Mayamare, Iana Maragam, O Bompa, O Bompa, O Bompa, Amakani Fanal. That short fake man. Don't worry. Maybe it's because I have not brought police. What I will do is to bring those policemen and come and arrest him. Ah, what sort of rubbish is that? My hundred thousand naira. He must refund me that, that hundred thousand naira. He must give me my money. Ah, what nonsense. What? Because of your proposal, I stopped my daughter from traveling to Lagos. I'd always liked you as a person. That is why I allowed my daughter to be coming near you. If I didn't like you, I would have stopped that relationship long ago. Based on that, you have my proofer to come with your people to start the process of having you as your wife. Hey, I'm not the only man in the community. I'm not even the most successful man in the market. Yo. Now tell me what I do. Why these girls they rush me like say I be box office city gate? Allow me to rest here. Oh, but your man a Monday. From Chidek on Tuesday. Yeah, my phone man a Maka. But Thursday and Friday. Oh, but your man a Monday. From Chidek for Tuesday. Yeah, my phone man a Maka. Allow me to rest here. Oh, hey, I am a balloon on my boy. I love it. Oh, hey, I am a balloon on my boy. I'm not the only man in the community. I'm not even the most successful man in the market, yo. Now tell me what I do. Why these girls they rush me like say I be box office city gate? 
Allow me to rest here. Up at your man, I'm on your man. I'm on on Tuesday. Yeah, my informer, I'm on my car. But Thursday and Friday. Up at your man, I'm on Jideka for Tuesday. Yeah, my informer, I'm on my car. Allow me to rest here. Oh. 